hi guys uh just trying to get everything ready there's so much here i um oh my there is just tons of stuff today um but we'll get through all of it i'm sure of it um i'm gonna find myself on my channel so i can read the chat if anyone would like to talk to me and maybe you want to talk to me i don't know let's see let's find me Well, here we are. Uh, your videos. I guess that wouldn't be that. You guys know I have a horrible time finding this, right? Uh, anyway, I have got tons of jewelry. Tons of jewelry. Yes, Mom, if you're watching. Tons. She always makes fun of me when I say tons. She's like, do you know how much a ton is? <laughs> yeah, 2,000 pounds. I know how much a ton is. Let's see. Mm, here I am. I'm live. Woohoo. Well, hello, Stranger Jims. How are you today? Um, I was just saying I've got tons of jewelry. I've got a beautiful um, vanity set to show you today. Uh, absolutely gorgeous piece of Nippon. Um, you're going to love it. It is absolutely beautiful. Um, I've got some cupies today. Um, who, what else? I just feel like I have so much. Um, I, um, yes, happy Friday. I, uh, have been to a couple of flea markets and, um, I, uh, I did good. Uh, I did really good. Sometimes when I go to these places, I walk out with nothing. Um, because, you know, the last, flea market I went to, people had their little booths and some of them have like little houses because they can buy these little house, housey looking things at um, this flea market. And they're just like little sheds or whatever. They had them actually set up like antique stores. And so when you go inside, everything's antique prices. And I just, I can't do that. Hi, Debs. Hi, Krista. So glad all of you are here. I have so many cool things today. Well, at least I think I do. Um, I always say I'm going to wait and sell my glass stuff on Ro Rosie's channel because um, she sells lots of beautiful glass. And uh, But I want to offer my stuff to my people too, you know. Um, and trust me, you're going to get a better deal. <laughs> Although I love Rosie. Um, yeah, I found lots of stuff. And I found some stuff that I just I couldn't part with, like these really pretty wire wrapped earrings. Um, I just loved them. I thought they were really pretty and I loved this bracelet. Um, so I had to keep it. <laughs> and then what I do is I wear it for a while and then I um, I put it in the sale. So uh, you'll probably get it all eventually. Maybe not these because I really do like these for some weird reason. Um they're just uh, just wire wrapped, and I think they have mother of pearl in them. But they're just kind of cool. I just thought they were neat, and they they just go with everything. So, and Debs, again, thank you so much for the necklace. I actually went online, and I'm looking for. I, I'm gonna not do the linen suit. I think I'm gonna. I want a white dress to go with that necklace. Um, so I've been looking for a white dress for summer and we go camping. I know white dress doesn't sound great for camping, but where we go, there's a little town and sometimes we go downtown for dinner and stuff like that. So I could wear it to dinner and wear my new necklace. And when I do, I'll take a picture for you. Yeah, Rosie's cool. She's really cool. She has tons of sales. She that I don't know how she has time to breathe. I mean, she is just busy all the time. I was like, whew. She texts me. It's been a, I don't know how long ago it was, three weeks or more ago, maybe three weeks ago. She's like, hey, you want to do a sale tonight? Well, I didn't get the, I didn't get it until that evening. And she was already on. I'm like, oh, crap. I didn't see this until, you know, it was too late. So I could have gone on with her then, but um, I'll, I'll hook up with her. I know that. But I know she's going to be doing that teak stock. I think that's uh, somewhere around where she lives. Um, so she's going to be busy with that too. So. And I told myself if I didn't have a lot of people on this afternoon, I'd probably come back on tonight and I still might. It just depends. It depends on what we go through and how much we get through um, and what sells and what doesn't sell. 
um, because I have a lot, a lot of stuff. We're going to do, um, I want to show you this vanity set. Now, it is absolutely gorgeous. Um, it, it's got so many pieces with it. And trust me, when I wrap stuff, you'll, you'll get it. Yeah. Now look at this. Is this not pretty? Now this is the tray. It has the ring. It has the ring holder. And this piece right here. Oh my gosh. It has the hat pin holder. And it's got the hair receiver. And it's got the little uh, trinket box. But look what else it's got. And we're gonna we're gonna look at this later. Um, but I want you to know that it's here. So, um, oh, and then it's got another little trinket box. Uh, so, so far it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces, eight counting the two candlestick holders and two candlestick holders. It's pink and green. It's beautiful. I th It's marked uh, Delph Delphini, Delphini, ever. Crown China, England. So nice old set. Lots of pieces to it. Lots of pieces to it. And I love the old guy I bought it from. He was the coolest. He was the coolest. So we're going to show that today. I've got a lot of really nice um, higher end jewelry today. Um, like Chinkos. And um, uh, I've got, uh, what is it? Chloe and Isabel. Something and dot. I can't remember what it is, but that jewelry right there tends to be kind of on the spendy side. Um, and I've got a great piece of um, Shavosky, Shavosky crystal. Hi, Linda. Hi, Judy. Miss Judy Bowen. Oh, let's see what else. Who else is here? Da, 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 da. Um, mom's probably here somewhere. She just hasn't said hi. Or, or she might be napping. I don't know. I went to her house uh, Wednesday. Me and my oldest sister drove over there. And um, my aunt was there and we all played cards. We love, we're a card playing family. So we had a good time. Um, each partner's, like, I was mom's partner and my sister was my aunt's partner. And we each won a game, so it was all fair. And we had snacks and all that kind of good stuff. It was a lot of fun. I love going over there and playing cards. I love, I, I don't win very often. Now, if I'm mom's partner, I win. But if I'm, if I'm just by myself and there's no partners and it's just me, I never win. Not ever. Mom's a good card player. She always has been. Uh, and then I've got some really cool jewelry today. I'm just going to sell by itself. Um, instead of just in the bags, um, I'm trying to, I'm just going to go up. Okay. There we go. I want to show you this necklace I found because I debated on a long time if I was going to get rid of it, but I'm going to, but I found it online. Uh, and this is true. 1980s. Um, uh, I'm going to turn this light down just a bit so you can really get the gist of this necklace. This is true. 1980s right here. Um, it is this weird plastic, but it's like so like silky smooth. I wouldn't even know what to call it really, but true vintage right here. Um, really cool necklace. So I'm going to have pieces like that today that we're just going to sell by themselves. Um, I can't put everything in a bag. Most, most of you guys have heard me say that. Uh, I'm going to start putting a lot of my jewelry that I don't sell here. I'm just going to start putting it online. Um, but I definitely want to offer it to you guys first because um, you guys are my favorites. And those eBay people, you don't even know them. You don't even know who's buying your stuff, you know? It's like, eh. So what are we going to start with today? Hmm. Let's start with something wonderful. Um, now, I love these little lamps. I'm going to start with these little lamps. Uh, I found these um, at my flea market I went to last Saturday. I'm going to sell them as a pair. I would, I do not want to sell them each because they belong together. How about on each side of your bed? They're like little oil lamps. They're about six inches tall. Um, now, I, some of the stuff I do have to look up. I don't like to look up everything because I like to go with just what I gave for it. So I don't really, 
go, oh, well, that's a hundred dollars. So I, I want a hundred dollars out of it. I don't work like that. So um, th th they had some online, but they weren't the Aladdin style. They were cut off to about here. Um, and they were 25 for the pair, but they, they weren't exactly like this. Now the Aladdin ones, uh, like this, everywhere I looked were selling for, uh, 25 to $30 a piece, a piece. I'm starting these little beautiful things at $28 for the pair, for the pair. They are adorable. So the little shades come off. And then you would just unscrew this. Now, remember, if you get these, don't try to unscrew it from the porcelain. It just unscrews from the top right here. I personally wouldn't use them. I, I, I wouldn't. Uh, d just because they're so cute. And I, I just wouldn't want anything to happen to them. Um, and they are made in Japan. They have their original made in Japan stickers on them. They are so cute. Now, I can tell you that, you know, they've got that little gold foiling around it. A little bit of the gold has gone in different places and stuff, but nothing, nothing really bad. The flowers, everything, all still in good shape. These are adorable. I didn't find any chips or cracks or anything on them. They'd be cute on each side of your bed or if you have a guest bedroom. Um... But for me, again, I probably wouldn't, um, I probably wouldn't like them, although you can. Um, both of the, these suits just come off. Both of the little things just unscrew. They still have their little wicks in there. I just think they're cute to look at. You know, they're just adorable to look at. And then they just screw back on. Just like that. And then the little lamp just goes right in there. Aren't they cute? Gosh. I've got Debs at 28. Like I say, they have some online. They're not shaped exactly like this. They're cut off to about right here. So you don't have that Aladdin look to them. And they were running about 25 for the pair. Now, if they were shaped like this, they were 25 to $30 each is what I was finding. They are so... So cute. They're about six inches, almost six inches tall. Cute little flowers. I didn't find any uh, chips or cracks. They both still have their uh, Japan stickers. Very, very cute, you guys. If you're into vintage or if your house is pretty much vintage, um, th these are adorable. These are adorable. They'd even be kind of cute in a bathroom, maybe. I don't know. I keep thinking about them, like, on a side table next to a bed or whatever. I just think they're adorable. I've got Debs at $28. I'm going to go ahead and put in my stop. If you want in, you need to get in uh, on my channel. Uh, if you are not above the stop when I put it in, you are no longer able to bid. So if there's two of you in there, uh, you two are still able to bid. No one else can. If you are the only one above the stop, then it automatically just goes to you. So super cute. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and throw my stop in. My fingers are tweaking out. And these are going to go to Deb. Deb, these are so cute. You are absolutely going to love them. They are be absolutely beautiful. Have you guys ever had like your fingers like just stop working on you and they just like, like stop? <laughs> they just stop. And that's going to Debs. Yay, Debs. Congratulations. Oh, you're welcome. They're so cute. I mean, they are dainty and cute, you know? Okay, what's next? I'm going to try to get some of the glass stuff out of the way. Um, so we'll go to some jewelry right now, but then we're going to go right back to the glass. Um, that way I can move a lot of this stuff out of the way because um, I do not want to break it. This is our first bag. I actually got my hands on some makeup bags today. After I got off work this morning, I ran to this little store that I love and she had a bunch of bags. So um, I purchased a bunch of bags today. Now this, my hand will not work. My hand will not work. 
Hmm. Um, this bag is mostly gold tone jewelry. Uh, I, I just kept finding all this beautiful gold tone jewelry. And I'm like, I think I'm going to do a bag of just gold tone jewelry. Uh, we're going to start this bag out at um, $12. And this bag is really cute, too. You are welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, so remember, you get the makeup bag with it. Come on now. Uh, this is such a pretty bracelet. Look at this bracelet. And this is a Monet. It is marked Monet right in the center of the bracelet right there. You can see that. Very pretty very, and, and good quality right here. And then I love this necklace. Look at this necklace. This is an older necklace, but the gold tone on it is so pretty. It didn't have who did it. Uh, and this necklace, you know, they're short, so you'd probably have to put an extender on it. But look at that. I picked out all the stuff that the gold tone on it was just really, really good. Look how pretty that is. And I like wearing a lot of gold kind of flashy jewelry when you have like a nice dark tan because it looks really good. Now, look at this thing. It is still on the thing. You, this has got me from the 80s. Look at that. It is a scarf clip. Scarf clip. They just like get cramp up like you did. They just go like this. <laughs> it's kind of like a... Um, Oh, what do you call it? Like a Charlie horse or something in my hand. It just started like not wanting to work. It was like, holy crap. <sighs> I'm fine. I'm just, I'm too honored to be something old with me. Something wrong with me. And I'm just, yeah. Uh, and this one is um, Mark. God, bless it. Sorry, you guys. Ah. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, this is a Monet, too. I'll use my other hand. This is a Monet. Another beautiful gold tone. It is really pretty uh, gold tone. Um, here is another brooch. I don't think this one's marked, but I love the flare on it. And it is a nice gold. Can you guys see any of this? Because it seems like it might be up just a little much. And this is a beautiful gold tone brooch also. Here is a really pretty gold tone bracelet. Like everything in this bag is kind of kind of gold toned. Uh, let's see this one. This these are Avon. Remember, this bag starts out at only twelve dollars. These are so pretty. They are pierced. They are a gold tone. And fun. Uh, these are not marked, but they are really pretty. Another pair of beautiful gold tone earrings. Look at these. These are gorgeous. All of this is really pretty, you guys. Another gold tone. These are also purest earrings. And then here is another bracelet that is a gold-toned bracelet. This one is really pretty, too. Don't see any markings on it. So, where'd the bag go? Here it is. So, we had the Monet bracelet. It is marked Monet. We have the necklace. This is so pretty. Look at that shine. I mean, the gold tone on all of this is in really good, perfect condition. Yeah, it's weird. I mean, it's not like painful. It's just weird because your hands just, they your fingers just stop working. <laughs> and then here is another brooch. This is, I think I said this was Monet. And then this is that cool um, scarf clip still on the thingy. Bracelet. 
Now, Margo and Judy, you're supposed to be fighting over this stuff. Bracelet. And these are Avon. They are pierced. And this bag is, starts out at $12. And then here is... And then these aren't marked, but they're really pretty. Look at that. Aren't they gorgeous? And remember, if we get somebody in here today, I have enough jewelry where we can add to the bag. And then here are these. Super, super, super pretty. And like I said, the gold tone on all of this jewelry is impeccable. Judy says she's ready for a fun fight, Margo. <laughs> Margo's getting her gloves on. Just a minute. <laughs> this one starts, this bag starts out at $12. It's all beautiful uh, gold tone jewelry. Uh, it, all the gold tone is in very, very uh, good shape. Um, what's this one? This one says something. I, I, I'm going to throw this in to see if we, oh, this is Napier. Yes, this is Napier. Is that how you say that? This is a really pretty Napier gold tone bracelet. Again, gold tone is in really good shape. Margo says you have a call coming in, Judy. <laughs> Margo, you got your purse. Was it, was it good? Did you like it? You have to tell me the truth. And you won't hurt my feelings because we'll do something about it. Did you like your purse with all your jewelry? My phone did just ring. She ignored it. Hi, Roxana, and anybody else that came in that I didn't see. Hello, hello. Now, I've got Judy uh, Bolin in at $12 on this bag. It is a fantastic bag, all gold tone jewelry. All the gold tone is uh, super nice. I'm going to go ahead and put in my stop, if it'll let me. It won't, so we'll do it over here. Remember, you have to be above the stop if you want to bid. And then this one is going to go to Judy. Good job, Miss Judy. It's a really nice bag. Really nice bag. And like I said, all the gold tone on it, super nice. For 12 bucks, you can't beat that. Super pretty stuff in here. I got some really amazing, 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 amazing jewelry. Um, and um, we're going to go through some of it today. Hello, my sister. And Judy's like, yay, she won one. Margo says the day's not over. <laughs> no, she didn't say that, but you know she's thinking it, right? She's definitely thinking it. Uh, again, we're going to go ahead and sell some of the glass kind of stuff. So maybe I might be able to move some of it out of the way. Uh, again, I haven't decided whether I'm going to come on tonight or not. It just depends on how well this stuff sells or if, you know, if uh, I have a lot of it left, I. Oh, cool. Cool. Well, Judy, I just bought a crap load of jewelry for you. <sighs> <laughs> a lot. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this little girl on. Um, and then after I sell the other little angel, I'm going to pick these up and I'm going to move them. Because if this one gets broke, I'm going to be the saddest girl in the whole world. I found this sitting on a table at a flea market. I couldn't get to it fast enough. Um, look at her. Now, you may take a screenshot of her and look her up. She's selling anywhere between $45 and $50. Um, she is a beautiful little Christmas angel. Uh, she still has her sticker. I did not find any chips or cracks on her. I'd say she's probably from the 50s. That would be my guess. Super, super cute. I'm hoping my fingers just, just don't keep doing this so I don't drop. If I drop her, I'm going to be really mad. She's adorable. I'm starting her out at $30. 
Look at her eyes. Oh my God, she's so cute. She's adorable. Starting her out at $30. Hi, Marty. Now, Marty emailed me the other night and said that he would be coming to my sale. I'm, I'm glad you joined us. Welcome to my channel. We're starting this little beauty out at $30. A little cheaper than what you can get her online. I don't sell a whole lot of Christmas stuff. Um, you know, this you know, this far from Christmas, but you know, people buy Christmas stuff all year round. So I thought I'm just going to put her on. Good job, Debs. This is so freaking cute. I'm sure you've probably already dialed it in and looked it up. She's adorable. She's amazing. I haven't wiped her down yet. I'm always afraid to wipe on these things. You know, you got to be real careful with some of these things because you can wipe the color off. So um, I'll, I'll clean her up a bit, but then if you get her, you may want to clean her up a little bit more. Um, she is adorable. Here to watch all the good things. Good. Hello, strangers. is sitting on her hands. <laughs> Listen, I got some really good stuff this time. I really did. I was so happy. Um, and then all the walking that we did. Well, now the second uh, flea market we went to, we could take the little side by side, which is what we did. But. I never ride in it. I just walk it. He he rides around in that little car and he had to take the dog with him. And so he's like, man, next time I'm not bringing the dog because, yeah, you know, you have to take care of the dog while you're there and you have to walk it around. And, you know, I mean, the, our little side by side has air conditioning in it, so he didn't get hot or anything, but it's still a chore. I don't want to take care of a dog when I'm at a flea market. I want to look around. Okay, if I don't have anybody else on her, I'm telling you guys, this is a super good deal on her. She is so pretty, so fantastic. I wonder what's wrong with my phone. It will not let me do anything. I'm just having a heck of a time, aren't I? There we go. Now, if you want to get in on her, you need to do so. I'm going to put in my stop. Once the stop goes in on my channel, you cannot bid. I mean, if you are above it, you can keep bidding. And if there's only one person, then that person gets it. And we're giving this to Debs. Good job, Debs. You are going to love her. Like I said, I'll spruce her up a little, kind of wipe her down a little bit. But uh, with these kind of things, you really kind of want to watch it when you're doing that to make sure you're not rubbing on the paint or anything. Um, my sister Sam has taught me that. She's like, you can't, you can't wipe, wipe that. It's gonna. I'm like, what? I don't know. Oh, I know. You're so welcome. You're going to love her. I'll wrap her really well. She's like my favorite thing I got this weekend, I think, except for the Nippon vase. I love that Nippon vase, too. I like it all, really. I really just like it all. Um, we are going to do uh, a single piece of jewelry. Now, if I can find it, if not, we'll just move on to this one. Um, we'll just move on. We'll just move on to this. This is so pretty. This guy had, um, a box of jewelry and I was going through, it looked like it'd been pretty picked through, but you know, I still was still finding some good pieces and I thought, what is this? I'm like, what is that? And I picked it up and I was like, and I opened it up and I was like, holy crap. Look at this. Excuse my French. Come on. Um, this is vintage Estee Lauder. Vintage Estee Lauder. It is a little compact. And you wear it around your neck or a pillbox or whatever you want to use it for. I'm trying to open it. There we go. And right in the center, Estee Lauder. And we all know how expensive Estee Lauder is. 
And the gold tone on this is immaculate. I mean, it is really, really pretty, you guys. Hold it up for you. It's a little heavy, but, you know, it's a stilotter. Uh, I'm going to start this out at $18. That's a good price for it. Now I lost me on, on, on here. I take a week off, and then when I get back on, I don't know how to how to do any of this. Yep, this is starting out at eighteen dollars. It is absolutely beautiful. Let's stay louder. I'll start is eighteen. There is the back of it in beautiful, beautiful shape. Gold tone on it is just, ow, my finger did it again. Uh, impeccable. It's beautiful. Let me open it again. Open it with my bad hand. <laughs> they tell me the reason I get a lot of Charlie horses in my legs, you know. You're not drinking enough water. Right in the center there, you can see where it says Estee Lauder. Oh, really? I don't smell anything. Usually you can smell <laughs> perfume in them. But this is absolutely beautiful. I think if I, because I mean, I do take medication. I have, uh, take my blood pressure medication. Um, and then I take um, um, pain, um, gabapentin, you know, for nerve, whatever. Hoping it would help my legs and all my aches and pains. I would just put those in there and have it with me all the time. This is beautiful. Look at the work on the back of it. I'm going to show you the work on the back of this. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Absolutely stunning. We got Debs in again. Debs knows what she's, she's on it today. I'm going to put my stop in, and you have to be above the stop to bid. And for anyone that's new, I ship from Missouri. And if you want to bid, you need to send me your information. Um, I know uh, I know Marty has. Uh, he um, sent it to me the other night, which was very nice. He, I guess he just came across my channel. And, and he was nice enough to go ahead and send his information. So that was really cool. And I appreciate that. And this is going to depths. You're going to love it. It is beautiful. It was one thing I almost just thought about keeping, but I did keep these. Oh, and I kept this necklace because I really liked it. And I kept this bracelet. <laughs> yes, you're right, Marty. You're right. And since you, oh, Marty, and since you have, you sent me all your information, I'm going to go ahead and add you as a moderator. So the next time you say something, your name should be in blue since I have your information. Yeah, that's, it's, Deb, you're going to love that thing. I just love it. I just think it's so pretty. So, so pretty. Um, let's see, since we did that one, you guys wouldn't believe all the gorgeous jewelry that I have, that I have. Some of it I'm going to wear before I, before we, before I sell it. Okay, I love this. I know it's funky and it's weird and it's like, oh my goodness. This is from Chinko's. Um, it's gaudy. I still love it. Um, it's about going for about $35 online. Uh, look at this thing. Isn't that cool? Now, these pieces are not glass. But if they were glass, this necklace would be way too heavy to wear. But look at that. And it's got that rope around there. And then it's got this gold. It's so pretty. you got to have the right sweater or shirt or jacket on to wear that. 
But see, I could see me kicking it around with like a, I don't know. I don't know. I, I definitely have my boots on when I'm wearing this. Definitely have my boots on. But it is from Chinko's. It is amazing. I'm going to start it out at $18. $18. I've seen it much higher. And the tag on it, the, the tag is still there. It does say Chinko's. The little tag right there. Chinko's. Yes. It is fabulous. <laughs> Marty, it is fabulous. Isn't that cool? I just love it. Now, if you'd like, you can take a screenshot of it. Try to hold it back a little bit. Starting it out at $18. It's so all the, the embellishments on it. They're all gold tone. Um, I'll give it another second or two. If nobody's interested, it's okay. Trust me, I've got tons of jewelry. We've got tons of jewelry to look at today. Okay. And again, if you see that, if you, you know, find out later, oh, I really want that. You can just email me and tell me. That's not a big deal. Not everything is everybody's cup of tea, you know. I think my sister D would have worn this at one time in her life. I really do. But both of us getting so old, we can't hold up that kind of jewelry anymore, can we, D? <laughs> okay, we're going to go ahead and show the vanity set. And then I'll show this little angel, and I can move some of this stuff off of the table. I am selling this all together. There is one, two, I see, one, two, three, four, five. Is that right? Five, six. And then there's two candlestick holders, so seven, eight. Eight pieces. This is the vanity set. Hi, Mary Dugan. And then here is the uh, another little trinket box. This is the uh, hair receiver. It has the hole in the top. Here is the little um, ring holder. I mean, this thing has everything. Here is another trinket box. Love this piece too. The hat pin holder. And then here's the bottom of it. It is marked Del Delfina, Delphi, or something like that. Crown China, England. So this is China. You know, it's maybe bone China. Heck, I don't really know. Uh, but it's got all these beautiful pieces. And these are the candlestick holders. So it's got green little leaves and pink flowers all over it all of it <laughs> it's like a lot of it here uh, and then here's the little tray i'm starting it out at 65 dollars for all of it every bit of it i got a good deal i'm giving it a good deal this is a good deal for a complete set It's got little yellow, uh, I'm sorry, little green leaves, and then it's got the little pink flowers. Hopefully you can see it. And I can change the lighting, too. And this is the hat pin holder. There's eight pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Because I'm counting the candlesticks as two. So, and then you also have the candlestick holders and the hat pin holder and the little ring holder. I think it's got some wax down in the little 
candlesticks. I'm not sure how to get that out and I'm not going to pry it out. So if somebody gets it, there's a little bit of candle wax down in there. You'll have to get that out yourself because I ain't even going to try it. Here is the hair receiver. There are no chips or cracks on this. And we won't stay too long on it. Like I said, if you see something that you uh, like and it didn't sell, you can always email me. But this is probably the lowest I can go on this. So we'll set it over here. Get it out of the way. I'm so afraid I'm going to bump into it and break it. Um, I don't want to do that. The little guy that sold it to me was so cute. He's like, I've never seen a set so complete and I said yeah I said it's really nice I said I've sold a few of them in my time you know he was really pushing his product <laughs> I admired him for that so uh he was adorable uh this is a little angel she is leftin and she is for the month of May last week I think I had one for the month of July and the little gold specks you're seeing on there is just decoration um you know, from the manufacturer. I'd say she's probably from the, maybe the 50s or so. Um, but she does have her left in sticker on there. Isn't she cute? And she is for the month of May. I And I think all of her flowers are really good too. Super, super nice. Uh, I'm going to start her out at $12. $12. Her, her wings are good. Um, her flowers seem to be really good. Um, the little gold that you see is just from the manufacturer on her dress. Little golds, like, I don't know why they did it, but they did it. Uh, and it is starting at $12 for her. She is a Lefton piece. Lefton. She's got a very cute face. And then her wings are in a very good shape has anybody ever burned a uh, candle with the wood wick uh, my friend got me one for christmas and i hadn't had one of those things for years and i forgot how noisy they were but i love the candle no interest in her we will put her back we will put her away so I, I won't break her. You stay over there. Cute little wings and all. Um, okay, let's do another bag of jewelry because I just want to do a bag. Here is your next bag of jewelry. And again, I have enough jewelry today. If you bid and somebody else bids against you, I'll add more jewelry to the bag. Again, here is a little bag. This bag's got, got like a little spot on it or something. It's not real major or anything. But here is, this bag's going to start out at $12. Here is the first necklace and earrings. Very cute. Not old, as you can tell. But it is really pretty and very sparkly. Are these glass? Yes. These are glass. Your reseller should be able to get 8 to $10 just out of this one. And then here is another necklace. Pretty, pretty necklace. Oh, these might be glass. They, they sound like it. Or I'm not sure. But it's still a very pretty necklace. And then here is a bracelet. I think this might be Chinko's, even though it doesn't say. I seen one on their website just pretty much like this one. Kind of like these little seed beads. Uh, $12. We're starting out at $12, Miss Margo. Margo, I don't know if I if I if you answered me a while ago. I probably just wasn't reading my chat, but did you was your purse okay? Did every did you like everything? Was it what you thought it was gonna be?
Now this brooch is, um, it says P-I-M. I don't know what that means. P-I-M. But it is a really pretty leaf brooch. And it the gold tone on it is just amazing. Oh, good, Margo. Good, good, good. It had a lot of stuff in it. We got another good bag today. This is really a, a pretty, pretty brooch right there. So that's in that bag. And these funky earrings are in the bag. I think these are cool. They are clip-on. I'm so glad you like the purse because I thought there was a lot of really awesome stuff in there. And then these earrings are in there. I've got Margot in at 12. And remember, whenever you bid, we add we add things, you know. Uh, this is an older uh, bracelet. It, when I first picked it up, I thought maybe it was Coro, but it, it's not Coro. So don't think that it is because I know some of you that know jewelry will look at it and go, oh, that's probably Coro, but it's not. It reminded me of it. And because of the, and because of the closure that's on it, it kind of reminded me of one of their, one of their closures. But that's in the bag. So this bag starts out at $12. This is a beautiful uh, bracelet. And then we had this bracelet. I like these seed bead bracelets. And then we had this brooch. It is marked as this PIM. I don't know what that stands for, but the gold tone on this is really nice. And then we had this set right here. Super, super nice. And the little beads in there, they are um, they are glass. And then it's got the earrings to match. Hi, Carol Campbell. Carol Campbell took a little trip to see her new grandbaby. How was that, Miss Carol? And then we have this necklace. Really pretty. That actually is a really pretty necklace. So I've got Margo in at $12. There's that necklace. This is the bracelet. The brooch. Really pretty, pretty brooch. Um, and then this set. And this bracelet. This is a really pretty bracelet. And then these earrings. Pretty, actually. She's so sweet. Oh, good, Carol. So I've got Margo in at $12 for this bag. If I don't see anybody else in, I'm going to put my stop in. If you want to bid, you have to be above the stop. Remember that. Because it'll be sad if you wanted it and you weren't there. But this one is going to Miss Margo today. Thanks, Margo. $12 for a bag of jewelry. Not so bad. I think this bag's got like a little mark on the inside too. But can you see it? It's like a little mark. Just so you know, my friend. I got a bag down here to throw all my bags in. Easy, easy pick up when I'm done. Okay, so this is what I've decided to do on the QPs. Um, normally, if something's a set, I sell it as a set because I don't go, oh, which one do you want? Do you want this one? Do you want that one? Yeah, I don't like that. Uh, but that's me. And I'm okay if anybody else does it that way. But I, I just, it's just too much. But on these, I'm going to sell them separately. Uh, just because you might already have the start of this set. Um, these you did have to purchase separately when you got them. Um, so this little cutie right here, he's playing the harp and, um, what did I do with that measuring tape? Lord have mercy. I had it around my neck when I started. Oh, here it is. This little guy, he's kind of tall. Right to the tip of his little koopy is about five and a half inches. So he's playing he's playing the harp. And then we got this guy playing the accordion. 
Isn't he cute? I love their faces. They're so realistic. And we got this one playing the drums. And we got this one playing the guitar. I've seen these things all over the board. $60 for the set, $75 for the set, and somebody on Craigslist has them for $100 for the set. What we're going to do is we're going to start these out at $12 a piece. Uh, take one, two, three. It doesn't matter to me. You can have them all. Whoever gets the winning bid can take as many as they want. That way, I just thought that would be fair. Um, you know, uh, and then that would only be $48 if you got all of them for the whole set and, and if you got them for the $12 a piece. So kind of up to you on what you want to do with them. So this is the little guitar guy. And they are all marked. I can never say that word. A-N-D something Japan. And they're all numbered. So here's our little guy playing the guitar. And then we have our little guy playing the drums. And then we have a little guy with the harp. And they do have the little cupie wings. Oh, and you can see his little cracker jack. Sorry. And the accordion. Again, you can go as far as you want on them. If you go, well, I already have this one and this one. I don't want to buy the whole set. That's why I did it like this. Because I just figured it'd be fair. You know, for everybody. Um, and they're all in really good shape. Um, like, I mean, no chips or cracks or anything. Um, again, I did not wipe them up. Um, but I can take a little towel to them. Again, on these kind of things, always be careful when you're wiping because you can wipe the paint right off of things. And you do not want to do that. Look at him. Got a little side eye going on. He might be a little mischievous. I don't know. And then here's this little dude playing the drums. Isn't he cute? I mean, whoever did this, I mean, because these are hand painted. Like, you got to have a steady hand in this. And, well, and I can't paint anyway, so it's like. Mm. And then look at the back. They do have their little wings. Yeah, they are adorable. Yeah, these are the first set. Yeah, mm -hmm, this is what I have today. Mm -hmm. I have a whole box of cupies. Um, I just kind of pick them out every once in a while and bring them on. Yeah, they are so cute. And all together, they just make this like cute little band. <laughs> make a cute little band. I've got Debs at 12. I'm going to I'm going to put in my stop. Um so if anybody wants in, you need to get in. We won't stay too long on things. Um if you want in, you know you want it, get in and you know you can duke it out with somebody. If not, it's going to go to one person. She can take whatever she wants. Okay, I'm going to put in my stop. I have to watch this screen and this screen because I'm I'm not as fast on one screen than I am the other screen. Oh, Hello Strangers came in. So it's between Debs and Hello Strangers. Super cute, you guys. Um, no chips, no cracks. Really nice little uh, figurines here. They are super cute. They are all marked. You can take as many as you want. You can just have one. If maybe you've got three of them and you just need that one. Like usually I just have the whole set, but with these, I think they were probably bought separate, I think. And uh Hello Stranger says she's out. So we're just gonna, I'm just gonna put sold in there. I don't do that a whole lot, but I want people to know that they are no longer available. So, Debs, which ones did you want, hon? 
since devs have the highest bid, she can pick whichever one she wants. And then we go backwards. When then we go to hello. Well, the way I, my channel works, when the person that gets the highest bids gets what they want, the next person can have it for their bid. Uh, because that person that won gets what she wants first. I mean, because she was the highest bidder. Yes. Here is the little cutie guy. He's a tall one. He stands, you know, a little taller than these others. So he's playing the harp. And he's marked. And then we have the little guitar guy. And he is also marked. And then we have this little, we have the little drummer guy. And he is marked. And then we have the little accordion guy. And he is marked also. So they all are. And if you need to look at them again, just let me know. We can definitely show them again. I got to make room or else I'm going to end up breaking something. And this little Christmas angel lady sitting over here. And I'm like, no, I don't want to break her. Because I'm going to need room. Okay. Can't you just take them off? Okay. Well, I still think you got a really good deal on them. Like I said, I've seen them at so many different um, prices. Uh, so that makes them, what, $56 or something like that. I've seen them higher than that. Um, I've seen them a little lower than that. But and I, the condition, too, is everything on them. But I've seen them on Craigslist. I don't even know people did Craigslist anymore, but I saw them for $100 on there. Okie dokie. I'm just trying to get these um, glass things out of the way and then we can, you know, do more jewelry if I can get some of this stuff out of the way. So I'm going to go ahead and do my Nippon. Uh, this, you guys, I found this and um, I was so happy I found this. I grabbed it immediately. I was like, I'm taking that. Well, I mean, I purchased it, but you know what I mean. Look at this. This is from Nippon. Now, I have seen these vases, and I did my research on this one because it was Nippon, uh, anywhere from $65 to $200. I don't know what the, you know, the, the same uh, marking, same everything. Um, look at how beautiful it is. I'm going to turn this light down a little. It's all hand painted, every bit of it. And then you can look these up, too, if you want. Um, I'll tell you what it says on the bottom. Nippon, Royal, and this is how you spell the next thing. It says Kinran, K-I-N-R-A-N. -I -N -R I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. But this stuff is crazy ridiculous. Um, I don't think I've ever had one, so I was just happy to get it. And I just love, love the colors on it. It's not real tall. It's not a real tall one. Um, you're looking at about six inches or so. Um, and it does have, the, you know, it, like any of these, you can see the gold around the top. And some of it's just really kind of fady or, you know, whatever. But I'm going to start it out at $35. 35 I do think that's a fair price for it. There's the bottom of it. I didn't rinse it out or clean it out or anything like that. Um, the only sad thing I was, they had a sticker on it and I took the sticker off. I said, please don't put stickers on hand painted things. Nothing went bad with it though. I promise you that. This is gorgeous. I will show you the bottom of it. I mean, you can definitely...
Can you see it? Oh, you probably can't even see it. I have a hard time. And there's some people that they'll take their magnifying glass and put over the top of it and do it like that. I keep saying I want to get my magnifying glass out and do that, but I don't. Again, it's all hand painted. It is from Nippon. It's absolutely beautiful. Can kind of get a... It's like they started all that gold squiggly squiggly all the way around and then some of it's uh, faded a little so it does have a little bit of fading on it but it's still so so pretty but i don't have any interest in it it's okay i kind of just want to get it out of the way how are you doing harley Okay, let's do some jewelry. Um, let's see. Let's do this bag. This bag's gonna be starting out at eight dollars. This has a lot of my funky 80 jewelry in it. This is only eight dollars. <laughs> so there's a couple pieces that like like this little bracelet right here is definitely older than the 80s. This little bracelet here. Uh, I don't know, 60s, maybe the 60s, cute little bead bracelet, cute for summer, let's see what else do we have, um, we have a little brooch with cats, of course I am a cat freak, so, and everybody knows I love cats, now, I have a dog, but my favorite, uh, I'm just kidding Harley, I love you, The little cats. And then look at these beads. These are such cute beads. Now look, um, let me get this earring off of there. I, pa I paired these up with, look at these earrings. Wouldn't that be so cute together in the summer? I love it. And then look how they undo. This is probably definitely 60s or 70s, don't you think? Both of them undo like that. They just unscrew from that. Let me screw it back in. I'm horrible at this. And then the yellow one does the same thing. And then I also put in these little dangly earrings. And then we have some star earrings. Really cute. One has the moon and stars and one has nothing. That's weird. But then people are wearing earrings that don't even look alike these days. Um, and then this I thought was really, really pretty. It, Angelica, your guardian angel. Let her spirit inspire your guide. And then this is from 1994. She's a little tack brooch. It's the angel and the tree. Really pretty. Still on the card. And it says 1990. The pin on this card is copyright. Da, 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 and 1994. So all of this starting out at $8. If we get another bid, I'll throw something in. If not, we'll move on and Miss Linda will be the winner. We got the two beaded necklaces. We got the, I love, I love these earrings. Really pretty with the, those white beads and the, um, The yellow beads. And then these, this is the cats. We have the dangle earrings, the star earrings. And then you get a cute little bag. You can't beat a bag of jewelry for $8. I went ahead and put it in my stock. And this is going to Miss Linda. Thank you, Linda. Going right in there. 
Okay, next. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put this on. Um, I love this little love. <laughs> this is so pretty, and it's all glass. Look at this. This, these are gorgeous. These are uh, carnival glass. Um, look at that. Do not tell me that's not beautiful. Just beautiful. All glass. Every bit of it. Look how long it is. It's like so super long. I can measure it for you. Thirty inches, thirty inches long on these beads, all glass. Starting the beads out at twenty dollars. I do not think you're going to get carnival glass beads for twenty dollars. Look at them; they just sparkle. They just sparkle so beautifully. Linda says, "T." What you saying, Linda? There is no closure on them. They just go right over your head. They are beautiful. I will tissue and probably bubble wrap these. I mean, because they are all just, yeah, I don't want anything to happen to any of them. But, you know, these I will take extra caution on. You're welcome, Miss Linda. This necklace is starting out at $20. They mesmerize me. I like just look at them and I'm just like mesmerized by them. Yes, Carol, so stunning and like, um, 30 inches of beads, you know, glass. Absolutely beautiful. If I don't have any interest in them, that's fine. We'll put them up here. Let me make sure I put them back in the bag. I don't want anything to happen to them. Yeah, these are really pretty. Okay, we'll just set it there. Here's another makeup bag of jewelry. Okay, I know there's another bracelet over here that I wanted to throw in here. Now, I absolutely love these bracelets. These are like some of my favorite bracelets that I found when I was doing all my... Um, marketing. Love these bracelets. Super, super nice. I'm not sure what the size on the... People just measure from side to side, I think. Like from the inside of the hole to the... So you're looking at about two and three quarters. I mean, I can get it on, no problem. I think they're all the same size, but I just, I think I just love that, um, the blue and the orange together. I just think it's so pretty. So this is in the bag. Um, there is a really pretty gold tone and necklace in the bag. Oh, this bag's going to start out at uh, $12. This gold tone necklace. Very pretty. And I love this little necklace right here. Um, I don't know if any of you have like any little or anybody that would have like a little wiener dog necklace, uh, wiener dog in their life. But look at this little wiener dog. Is he not cute? He looks like a wiener dog anyway. He's so cute. I just love him. 
And I think he, what does he say? Um, what does that say? Oh, I think this is a Liz Claiborne. He's so cute. And then here are some earrings. These are purist earrings. They are in your bag. This is a uh, bracelet. It is a stretchy. And they, it has not been really stretched too much. Uh, so you can just roll it on. Please roll your stretchies on. The pink one, not this one. I'm keeping that one. And just roll it off. My, my hand's doing that again. I don't understand why my hand's doing that so much today. But it's just um, pretty weird. Um, and then we'll go ahead and put these in there. We can make bags of jewelry today, too. Look how pretty those are. Gorgeous. So you get this. The bracelets. Now, that's pretty together right there. This is a necklace. I don't know if it's marked or not. Let's try to take a look. Nope, I don't see a name on the necklace, but the gold tone on it is really pretty. The earrings. The bracelet. Yep, these are glass. The wiener dog. I guess it's a wiener dog. Heck, I don't know. Looks like a wiener dog. Now, this bag starts out at $12. I'm trying to exercise my hand. Exercise. And it was in this little bag here. We'll go through it one more time, and we'll be done with this bag. These bracelets, oh, there's three of them. One of them's a little thinner than the other two. The earrings. Very pretty, pretty earrings. The bracelet is stretchy. It's glass. The earrings. Oh, no, wiener dog, get off of there. The gold tone necklace. And I'm going to put this wiener dog in a bag. I hate it when necklaces are all... Especially when they're the little chain ones, you know. The big ones, it's okay. But these little ones like this, I will not send you necklaces all mangled together. Like these little chains, forget about it. Okay, I've got Margot in at 12. Now, I brought a bunch of jewelry out. to. If we get bids, I put more jewelry in. If we don't, well... And all this extra jewelry just stays with me. I've got Margot in at 12. I've got me stop in. I'm having mushrooms for dinner. I just wanted you guys to know that. Um, the barn that I work at, uh, my friend owns the cafe inside there. Her daughter went down by their creek and she found a bunch of morels. She came about 30 mushrooms. I won't fix all of them tonight, but I, um, Margo got that one. I'm going to have mushrooms for dinner. Thank you, Margo. All right. I want to show you something really pretty. Look at this. Stunning, beautiful. Gorgeous. Uh, this was actually made in Greece. You can see along the side here. This is like an oil picture. Like they would have had the oils in or whatever. Uh, here is the mark on the bottom. It is trimmed in 24 karat gold. It is so pretty. Everything on it is super, super nice. I found on this side where there's like a little piece of the gold missing. Not missing, but you can just see that it, there's a light. You can't even see it. I don't even know what I'm telling you. I just try to tell you everything because I don't want anybody to get mad at me. 
Um, you're looking at about maybe nine inches. Uh, it's black. It's got all that gold, 24 karat gold in it. Um, and then the design is uh, just like, like, like people from Greece, uh, you know, the men and the women and yeah, their clothes. Sometimes you find these things and they're, they're butt naked. And I've seen this where they, it isn't painted like in color. It's just all 24 karat gold. Those do go a little higher than these, but um, I am going to start this out at $22, $22, uh, when, if anybody gets it, um, I will, um, paper this really good first and then I will, uh, bubble wrap it really, really well. I promise. So super pretty. Um, I didn't wipe the inside out. I wiped the, this off, you know, I cleaned this up, but I didn't clean the inside, but I don't see anything down in there anyway. And it's black. It's hard to see. So super pretty. I love the colors going around it. Really brightens this up. It's so pretty. It is just so pretty. I'm going to write this down. Starting it out at $22. You probably have to have the right room or whatever for it, but I think it, if you have a really fancy bathroom or something and you put oils in your water, wouldn't that be so pretty on your bathtub just, just to do your own little thing or whatever? I don't know. I'm just thinking. <laughs> don't ever listen to me. I'll hold it up for just a few seconds more, and if we don't get any bite, boom, we're done with it. But you can always get a hold of me if you want it. Okay. No interest in, in that one. All right. This These are compacts. Um, they're not all in great shape. Uh, some of them are in better shape than others. Um, this one I found... Uh, all of these are just ten dollars each. Um, if anybody is interested, we're just going to start them out at ten dollars. Like I say, they're not perfect, but yeah, there's some of them that are kind of decent. Um, so here's the first one, and it is wooden. It is a wooden compact. And then here's the inside of it. Now the mirror, you can see how it, sometimes the mirror gets those little black spots and stuff. And this is the first one. Here is this one. This one's really pretty, and it is in good shape. It still has some makeup in it, um, and it does say Elgin American Made in USA. So I'm not going to open this side because it's got a lot of loose powder in it, um, but here is the, the old lipstick or rouge or whatever. Looks like I have like a little dent or something in it. But again, they're all just starting out at $10. This one, I started cleaning it up a bit before we, we got on. I didn't get all of the black off of it, but it does have some gold tone um, that isn't in the greatest condition. Not bad, but, you know. And then this has got powder in it. And you can just, I guess you just can remove it and put a new one in or whatever. I guess they, these are the kind that you could just, um, you know, trade them out. Ouch, I just snapped my finger in it. But you can see it's got some little black marks. It's not bad, though. I, I mean, it was much worse. I, I was really starting to work on it right before. I forgot that I was supposed to clean these. And a lot of it came off. But you can see on the flat, uh, on the bow that a little bit of the gold tone is off of it. But still pretty cool. And this one I love, um, but it has a cracked mirror. Uh, this is definitely Art Deco. Silver tone. And you can see when the light hits it, they do have like little tiny denty things. But only if the light hits it do you ever see it. Um, this too has makeup in it. And it does have a crack in the mirror. 
Oh, it's got this little puff. If you got allergies, be careful. But look at that. Isn't that cool? Um, let me see if I can see what this one says. Uh, Dem Demometics. I don't know. Soft patent. Harmony. New York. I, I'm not sure. But anyway, there's one. And then this is a uh, gold tone um, cigarette case. Yeah, they're um, they're um, they started out at ten each. Um, you can take as many as you want. Uh, it does not matter to me. Uh, this is the gold tone uh, cigarette case. Uh, probably needs a good cleaning. I just remembered about ten minutes before. I was like, oh no, I didn't clean those compacts. <laughs> So they will need some good cleaning. This one, the mirror is missing, but so easy to find these mirrors. You just find one that's in totally crappy shape. Take the mirror out and put it in this one because this is really pretty. But it is missing its mirror. This is the outside of it. It doesn't have a name or anything. on. Oh, wow. Wait a minute. Oh. I kind of like that. Um, it says Majestics. Isn't that kind of neat? Just the way they wrote that on there. Uh, the makeup is no longer in there. But everything on it works and closes really well. Needs a good polishing, but it's in pretty good shape, really. And these other two things in here, I'm not even going to. They're so bad, I'm not even. Yuck. New. So, who have I got? Hello, Jims and Carol Campbell. Hello, strangers. At 26, uh, Krista says she's out. Now, remember, ladies, they're not perfect. Um, but this is the wooden one, which is so unusual and weird. Um, here's the inside of him. The mirror on it is not the greatest, but the mirror is there. It's, it has the little black marks that are going through it. Um, here's the little puff. Here is the gold tone one. And you can see it's got a little ding on it. It does have a little ding. Um. Here's the inside of it. Real pretty. Mirror's all good on that one. Again, if you open it when you get it, be careful with the powder side because there is powder in it. it can you see it? it it's, I mean, it's going to fall out of there. It's just crumbled. Um, and then here is, this one has like some lipstick or rouge, whatever it is. Um, yes, you can choose as many as you want. Uh, highest price gets to pick whatever they want, how many they want. Um, that's, you know, when you win the bid, you get to pick whatever you want. And then what's left, I go back to the next highest and they get it for what they bid. But if you're the winner, you get to pick whatever you want. That's the... The great thing about, you know, being the first one, you know, you get whatever you want and how many you want. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and put my stop in. And let's see. We've got Carol. Hello, strangers. And Krista set out, but she can get back in because she is above the stop. So we are women. We have the right to change our minds. <laughs> Let's see. I've got Hello Strangers at 30. And, okay, so Carol says she is out. Miss Hello Strangers, which one or ones do you want, babe? We've got the wooden one, this one. And, again, it does have a little, you only really see that whenever the light hits it just right. But it does have 
like the blush and a the just when you open that little door, be very, very careful. And then we have this one, which is really cool. Super Art Deco. Um, love it. Love it. Love it. Um, and then we have this one. This one does need a mirror. Should be pretty easy to find a mirror. Uh, nice, shiny condition. Um, and then we have this one. Again, I've been cleaning it. It's got like a little, um, I don't know, you call it black or just like, you know how they get older and then you have to like clean them up or whatever. But there is some gold, gold tone missing a little bit off of it. But still a nice old compact. Still has some old powder. Mirrors good in it. And this one's a little heavy. So if you'll just let me know which one or ones you want. And then this is an old um, cigarette case. It is marked Made in Hong Kong. Again, it needs to be polished up a bit. Can you show me the one? And can you show me the first one? Was it this one, babe? This one has, um, now this door opens right here, but I'm not going to open it because if I did that, if I did that, then it, all the powder would fall out because it's crumbled, but it does have, uh, the little blush or lipstick, whatever it is. And it says Elgin American made in the USA. So super, super cute on that. And then this is the wooden one. I've, I've personally, I've never seen a wooden um, compact before. Um, and then the mirror is in there. But you know how sometimes the mirrors, it lose a little bit of that's, um, I don't know, the stuff on the back. And then you can just see like little black lines everywhere. So the mirror is not perfect, but it's not broken. Even mirrors on old dressers get that way. So we have these two. I have this one. I have the Art Deco. So you want this one. Okay. It's really pretty. Like I said, it does have that little uh, kind of like a ding. You can see it in the light, but still really pretty. Okay, and so then our next backup bidder is Carol. Carol, did you want um, one of the others for 27? And then Krista was way back here. Let's see, Miss Krista at 15. So she'll get to pick. I think you guys probably picked one of them that she wanted, though. Art Deco. Now you know that the mirror in it is broken. Let me show it to you again, Krista, because I want you to know. It does have that little... I think it should be pretty easy to replace. And if it's for Lily, she probably knows how to, um, how to do all that stuff, so... See, everybody gets what they want, so that's nice. There we go. Hopefully, everybody's happy. Okay, let's see what else. Let's. You know what we're gonna do? Let's go ahead and do our. Our big bag. 
of jewelry. Um, oh yeah, I, I'm sure Lily will be able to do that. I think she will. Okay, so this is, um, I thought it was a purse, but when I looked it up, it's a travel bag. But I would use it as a purse. I wouldn't care. This bottom part right here, as soon as I get everything out of it, um, I'll show you. Um, but I'm going to do something just really quick, you guys. I have got to move this little this little baby right here. She is, if I break her, I'm going to be so mad. <laughs> I will not be a happy camper. Okay. So let's get all of the jewelry out of there. And this stuff. I'm working with very little space. Um, so this is the design of the purse. It says Pegasus on the front. And then this is all the jewelry that's in it. I mean, there is a ton, a ton of jewelry in here for you guys. Oh, you know what? Hold on for a second. I don't have a pink round one, but we can, if this is the one you're talking about. Um, I didn't show this one because... It's kind of worn. Um, it's really worn. I mean, it's super, super cool. Look how this thing opens. But we can look at it whenever uh, I'm done showing this purse for sure. I don't remember a pink one with... A pink one with buttons around it. Hmm. Let me think on that one. Let me think on that. I don't remember that one. That There's so much stuff in here. If you want a good bag, this is a, this is a good one. I just dropped a piece of jewelry. I, I, I dropped the crab. <laughs> okay, Lord have mercy. So let me show you the bag again. So this is the bag, and you can see right here, it's got like a little Pegasus on the handle. And then this right here unzips on the bottom. Kind of like a secret storage underneath. You know? If you're a conceal and carry, maybe you could put it in there. I don't know. I mean, I don't carry a gun, but, you know, I don't, if you do, you do. And then here is the strap for it. It's still all ready to go. The only thing that I found with this purse, which was really weird, is there is a white spot in the bottom of it. You can see that little white spot down there. Now, it's not going to hurt this purse whatsoever. I didn't try to wipe it out or anything. This is a brand new purse. Uh, it might just be something that's in the material. Uh, I don't know, but it's not a hole or anything like that. It's just like a white spot. I, I have I have no clue, um, but it's really a cool bag. And there's like little pouches on the side here. Um, really nice, good size for traveling or a purse. Yeah. And then, like I said, here's the handle. No, you're fine. You're not interrupting anything. Oh, the bracelet. Oh. Um, I, I'll be happy to show you the bracelet, but, uh, I know which one you're talking about. Um, uh, but that bracelet's going to start at $250 and, but I will be happy to show it to you. Absolutely. Right, let me get this done and, and I'll, and I'll do it. You're not interrupting. I promise. So here's the handle to it. All right. Here is your first piece of jewelry. That's going to go in here. This is so cute. Look at this crab. Uh, the purse is starting at $60.
$60 for all the jewelry, the purse, everything. It's starting at $60. So this is your first little brooch. And it's by, um, this one is marked uh, Da Vinci. Da Vinci? Da Vinci? Da Vinci? Da Vinci? Cute little brooch. I did look this up and they do sell well. I promise you they do sell well. Um, here is another bracelet. Now, I like these bracelets that have the extra little locks on the side. To me, they're just better made. Uh, it does say China on this brooch. I mean, bracelet. But let me tell you, some of this China stuff, um, depending on when it was made, is so good. Because uh, sometimes you can find China 925. Super good stuff. Um, and this one does say China. But, man, is it made really well. It is really made well. And you've got those safety uh, tabs on each side which will help, you know, not losing the bracelet. Beautiful, beautiful bracelet. Uh, I think it's a gold tone, yeah. Um, next thing, this is Sarah Coventry. This is a beautiful necklace by Sarah Coventry. Gold tone with the barrels. Oh, okay. I think I've had some rings marked like that. Usually they're like, when they say that, usually they're around 80s era. Things like back then were made so much better anyway. So, um, and then here is another beautiful Sarah Coventry. Uh, I've seen this thing sell for $20 to $25. As a matter of fact, I just looked at it and one sold for $20. Look how pretty that is. And this is Sarah Coventry. The back of it, it does say Sarah Coventry. Remember, you're getting the handbag also. I'll leave it out until I... Um, this right here is a beautiful necklace by Hallmark. It is still in its box. Um, I'm trying to see if that's glass. Oh, yeah. It's glass. These do sell for around $20. Beautiful glass necklace with the birds. Does have its little box. There's a lot of beautiful things in this, I'm telling you. Uh, now, I'll probably need some help on this, but I think these are shoe clips. These are vintage shoe clips. Look at these. Oh, you get two of them because you got two shoes. And then this is how they undo. And I think they just stick into your shoes. Vintage shoe clips. I don't think they're fur clips, although they could be. What do you think, Krista? Does anybody know? Very, very cool on those. So those are going to be in that bag. Dress clips. Okay. Well, they're going to be in the purse. And then got this pretty blue bead necklace. Get in there. Oh, it's okay, Debs. We're going through the big purse. Um, and I'll go over everything again. Um, we've already gone through some uh, things that are in the purse. <laughs> the purse starts at $60. Here is, I'll just hold up some of it for you. Uh, there's some Sarah Coventry, Da Vinci, um, Sarah Coventry, some vintage uh, dress clips. This is vintage Hallmark. This is vintage Hallmark. This is a really cute vintage um, hair barrette. Look at this hair barrette. Isn't that cute? Y'all know I like stuff in my hair. It's getting warm. You're going to start seeing the big flowers in my hair again. <laughs> Shoe clips have small clamp. Okay. Well, these were just so big. I mean, I think they're really cool. I don't think I've ever seen any that big, you know. Um, it's just weird. Now, this is absolutely beautiful. Still has the tag. It is from India, and it is all glass. It is all glass.
still has its original tag on it. Absolutely beautiful. Don't you put dress clips like on your collar and stuff or um I see to me they could be fur clip too and you could clip your furs with it. I'm not I'm not a professional on those. I, I let the ladies always tell me how it is that know more about it than me. Now I had a name on this earlier and I forgot what it was. This is some of that designer jewelry that I that I bought. Oh, this is um, a Premier Design. This is a necklace from Premier Design. Really pretty Premier Design necklace. Super, super pretty. Have a pen prong. I don't know if those have a pen prong or not. They are pokey. They're very pokey. Very, very pokey on the ends. Uh, this is a gorgeous bracelet. This is by something and dot. I can't remember, but all of that jewelry was so expensive. Something in dot, but I've seen this bracelet right here sell for 20. It's beautiful. Look at that. And then here's the little uh, this is like one of this is their logo kind of thing. It's like a little heart with little dots all around it. I can't remember. Hi, Alice. This is a really, really pretty, pretty bracelet. Stella and Dot. Hi, Sandra. Welcome. Welcome. Super gorgeous. That's in the purse. These are uh, Sarah Coventry. They're in your bag. Beautiful Sarah Coventry earrings. And let's see what else. Oh, this is also Sarah Coventry. It is a big, massive brooch. I mean, it's a big brooch. That's in your bag. Uh, this is Western Germany, I do believe. Yep, yeah, made in Western Germany. Look at the clasp on it. It's got like this beautiful little flower clasp. I think it is so pretty. That's in your bag. And then this is also by Premier Design. It is a hammered silver tone cuff bracelet with some danglies. It does have the letter S on the side here. I mean, I guess you can just take that off if you didn't, if your name didn't start with an S, but I'm not sure what it, that would stand for if it was already, I don't know. But anyway, this is a Premier Design uh, bracelet. I've got uh, Carol at $60 on the purse and the jewelry. And then this is very vintage. I just don't know who makes it. It seems like this should have a name on it, but it does not. Look at that weird brooch. It's like hollow down in there. I don't know. Uh, look, look at that. It looks like eyeballs. That's weird. Kind of creepy. <laughs> so that's in there. Uh, this bracelet is by. Mm -mm -mm. I thought it had a name on it. I don't know. It's out of that designer jewelry that I bought. I don't see a name on it, but I don't care. It's gorgeous. Yeah. Oh, here it is. Oh, I'll just spell it because I can't pronounce it. L 
O. It's either L O V I G A or L O V I S A. I do not know. But it is a really pretty, pretty bracelet. That be in your bag. And then we have this bracelet in your bag. It just unclips like this. It's really pretty. It's very shiny. And it just unclips. I love that because it's easy on and off. I like easy on and off. And Sandra, welcome, welcome. If you would like to bid today, uh, oh, that's right. <laughs> I'm always backwards. Uh, just email me all your information. Let me know that you did. I need your first name, your last name, uh, your mailing address, and somewhere to send your uh, invoice to. Um, and then just let me know, and I'll check it, and boom, you are ready to bid. So, And then these are all the earrings that you're going to get in this purse. I'm going to show you. So here's your first set of earrings. They are beautiful. They are unmarked, but they are gorgeous. Here is another pair that will be in your bag. Again, very, very pretty. And these are really nice. These look like maybe lapis. Is that what you call it? But I'm not, I can't confirm that. So I don't know. But they are so pretty. They look like the what they're set in might be copper. And then these pretty, pretty, pretty earrings. I'm just going to make sure they have all their stones. Most people that know that that I don't see well. So I, I try my best to make sure everything has what it's supposed to on it. Those will be in your bag. And then this is a vintage Monet, still on the card. This is a vintage Monet. Um, I guess I'm, yeah. So that is your pile. Uh, we get more bids, I put more jewelry in. It comes with this beautiful bag. This is a gorgeous bag. Now, remember, this is a brand new bag. Um, it does have a white spot right there, and I do not know what it is. I do not know. Um, it, I mean, it's not going to affect the bag or anything. And it, it, I think it just might be in the material. Um, and here is the other handle. And then this also has a zipper bottom. So where you can use the bottom part of it. Um, when I bought it, I thought it was a purse. And then it says it's a travel bag. Um, I've seen this travel bag online for 40. Um, but this one has a white spot in the bottom. Like I said, who's going to be looking in the bottom of your bag? Brand new, unzips on the bottom. Beautiful, beautiful bag. It says Pegasus on it. We got Deb in, so we're going to throw some jewelry in. That's the way this works. You bid, you get the jewelry. You bid, you get the jewelry. Oh, this is so pretty. This is by Lucky Brand. Look at that. That is a gorgeous necklace. And you can see the little Lucky four leaf right there. This is beautiful. Um, i seen this one, I think, for 20 or 22 something like that super pretty super super like i said i don't mind putting more jewelry now this is avon uh this is vintage avon this is uh, 2005 that's vintage right but it's so pretty I love a lot of Avon jewelry. I didn't used to until I really started, you know, dealing in jewelry. And I just find some of it to be just absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Look at that little stone on the end. And it's got all these rhinestones going all the way up. It is absolutely beautiful. It does come in its original box. 
We're going to put it in. And some of this jewelry, my gosh. I mean, give it away for Christmas. I'm digging. Trust me, I have I have plenty of jewelry. Uh, that one I have to take a better look at. Um, all right, this one is 93 inches long, 92 inches long. And it is by, um, this is a super fun necklace. Um, it kind of reminds me of one of those flapper necklaces from the 20s, although it is definitely not. I'm just mean just because of the the length of it. Um, got all this information over here. Uh, diamond snake chain necklace, gold tone, silver. Uh, it's by Dabby Reed. By Dabby Reed. Look at this. It is 92 inches long. You can fold it as many times as you want to. Or just wear it 92 inches long. Isn't that pretty? By Dabby Reed. That's going in your bag. We have this really pretty silver tone cuff bracelet. I'm going to take off my bracelet just so you guys can see how pretty this is. It doesn't have a name or anything on it, but it is still really pretty. So that's going to go in. These are from the Limited. Like, remember, you know, the store, the Limited? It's kind of a maybe a higher end kind of a store. Cute little pierced earrings. Those will go in. Um, let's see. Don't worry, y'all. I got the jewelry. Oh, let's see. Look at this. Yeah, I do. Now, I can tell you this. Uh, I didn't know this bracelet, uh, who made it, because there's no name on it. I looked it up, and it's Chinko's. Uh, they had this bracelet on there for, gosh, 25 or 35. I can't remember. I looked up, I mean, I looked up a lot of stuff of this higher-end stuff that I bought, you know, just because I don't know too much about it. It is a stretch bracelet, but um, I mean, I'm going to... Just so I know, because I, I don't want to tell you anything that's wrong. You know what I mean? Like, twenty-five orange stretch bracelet out of stock. It says for twenty-five, and it's out of stock. Right there, out of stock. I know I'm phone's broken. Out of stock, twenty-five. So this is a $25 bracelet that I'm throwing in. I mean, I'm trying to throw in really good stuff. If you bid, you know, I want to I want to throw in good stuff. There is a ton of stuff here, you guys. A ton of stuff. I've got Carol at 70. Here is a little silver tone uh, bracelet with lots of rhinestones. And again, I love the way it does that. I love wearing these kind of little bracelets because everybody thinks they're real. And when they're dainty like this, they look more real to me anyway. Uh, I'm just trying to see maybe if it's 925 or anything. Uh, I don't see any markings on it. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Here is a look at that bracelet. It's absolutely gorgeous. And it does have those um, sides with the extra locking, which I love. That way, you know, you probably won't lose it. That'll go in there. I oh, can't put my little lamps over there. Stop doing that. Here is a brooch that we will throw in. It's got little ruby, little rubies in there. Not real rubies, just little. Well, if they're real rubies, whoo. Um, but they're not. 
And now we need to see if uh, Debs is in or out. I'm going to go ahead and put my stop in. So if you want in on this, um, you need to get in because um, I'm going to put my stop in here in a minute. Uh, we had the Chinkos. Remember, you get this big, beautiful bag with it, too. It is a beautiful, beautiful bag. Um, again, it has that white spot in the bottom. I'm not sure what that's about, but we have the Chinkos. Um, this is uh, Western Germany on the, the necklace. Uh, this is Premier Design. This is a really nice little cuff, easy on and off cuff. Love that. Uh, this is Monet, still on the cardboard. This is actually uh, all glass from India. It still has India on the tag. It is all glass. Absolutely beautiful necklace. Uh, shoe clips, dress clips, uh, fur clips. Don't know. <laughs> You can do whatever you want with it. <laughs> um, this is, um, somebody just told me something dot. I can't remember. But these little bracelets, they sell really well. Really super, super nice uh, bracelet. It's going in. We have a Sarah Coventry. Um, come on now. Sarah Coventry earrings. I'm going to go ahead and throw some of this in the bags. Uh, Sarah Coventry earrings, little flowers with the pearls. We have the Sarah Coventry brooch. We have a Sarah Coventry beautiful long necklace. I love the kind of ambery um, root beer color in that. That's going in. Beautiful bracelet. It does say China on it. That doesn't make it bad. It does have those side anchors, which I like. It helps keep on the bracelet. We got some blue vintage beads. Very nice. They're probably from 19, just by the claspy thing on it, uh, probably 1970s. Uh, here is my little crab. He does real well online. Um, and this is glass, and it's still in its original box. It's got the birds. Super nice. This is Sarah Coventry. This is a beautiful, beautiful necklace. It is marked Sarah Coventry on the back. I'm going to go ahead and just throw it in a bag. That way it does not get tangled. Uh, I don't know about this brooch. I really kind of like it just because it's really odd. And it is vintage. Um, I'd probably say 70s. Um, here is a very pretty bracelet. I just think this is gorgeous. I, it has a name on it, but I really don't, I can't really make it out that well. But it's really pretty. I love all the, the colors in it. Super nice. Uh, and then we had the Avon necklace. This is really pretty. Still has its original box. It says 2005. That's going on. This is that Lucky Brand. Um, not like, yeah, Lucky Brand necklace. It's so pretty. I just love the way it's made. It's so, so pretty. We're going to go ahead and put it in a bag so it doesn't get wound up and everything. There's a lot of jewelry in this, you guys. Kind of like buying seven bags of the other stuff, you know? Um, but you're getting it all in one great big purse. <laughs> uh, let's see. And then this is the, um, what was the name on that? Dabby Reed. It's like 92 inches long. That's a lot of necklace. 
That's super cool. And then you've got a couple of bracelets here. Really pretty bracelets. Um, and then this was, I know it was marked. Was it? Oh, this was the Premier Design. This is by Premier Design. It does have this little tag on there. That's going in. And then we had the vintage uh, hair barrette, which I like. I, I like hair stuff. And then we had the brooch with the little red uh, stones in it. Super cute. And then these are your ear, some earrings that are going in. I want to say this is lapis, but I don't, I'm not really sure, sure. But it looks like it's set in um, copper. That's going in. And then here are some really pretty ear. I would totally wear these earrings. They are pierced. It looks like they need some backs on them. They don't have any backs on them, but that's easy. Really pretty. Got the stones up there. I think they're stone. Yeah. And then the rhinestone earrings. Let me hold them like that. Very pretty rhinestones. The rhinestones are really pretty too. Nice, good sized rhinestones in there. And then the earrings from the limited. And then these are clip ons. Really pretty. I think that's the bag, uh, unless we get another bid from Debs. I'll add. Carol is in at $72. I'm going to go ahead and get my stop in there. This is a super nice bag, you guys. It's got all kinds of stuff in it. Um, I don't know what it weighs, but probably four, maybe five pounds, maybe. I'm not sure. We can always split it up on the weight. Deb says she is out. I'm going to put my, did I put my stop? I didn't put my stop in, did I? No. Harley, it sounds like your dad's home. You better go see. Oh, yeah, he hears it. But he hears that truck. Sometimes he can hear that truck coming like miles away. Okay, and this is going to go to Carol. Yay, Carol. God, all pretty stuff, Carol. There we go. We're Miss Carol. And the bag is really nice. The bag is, I think, of what I saw, it was around $40 or $30. 30 something. I was like 39 maybe. I don't remember, but it was it was up there. Super pretty. It looks very um high class. You know what I mean? It does. It's super high class. You're welcome, Carol. Okay, so let's get to selling some more jewelry. All right. I will offer this to you guys if you're interested in it um if not it's okay like i said i have other outlets i just want to um i just want to make sure that you guys get to see all the stuff and then you can always go find my ebay stuff i don't really have much on there right now um i forgot what i do have on. i think i have some ashtrays from uh vegas from the sahara that was torn down so so this is a Shavosky, Shavosky, Shavosky crystal necklace. It is a phenomenal. Uh, it is absolutely gorgeous. It does have the Shavosky logo right in the center right there. Uh, there is one online, I think, for $125 is what I've seen, I think. We are not doing $125 today. Um, we are going to start this beautiful uh, necklace out at $65. 65 And there's still a little money to be made if you are a reseller. And it's got the little blue stones on the side. Yeah, it is. The chain, look at the chain on it. It's just absolutely, I mean, the chain is just absolutely beautiful. 
Hello. It's got the little blue stones on each side, and it does have the little swan on the back. Absolutely beautiful necklace. We'll get back to the smaller bags of jewelry in just a minute. I just like showing some of the other pieces that I have just in case somebody, you know, wants something a little, you know, just, I would say higher end because I bought really a lot of higher end jewelry that's in this box over here. Um, and I just need to sell it a piece at a time. Um, I can't throw all of it in a bag. Now, some of it I did because I, I want you guys to have some really cool stuff too, so. I have no interest in the, I never say it right, Shawarski, Shawarski. I don't know. I can't say things very well. And then this will be another piece, I should say pieces that are going by themselves. Uh, and then we'll get back to our little piece. Uh, this is by Chloe and Isabel. Uh, it's absolutely gorgeous. When I first saw it, I thought, oh my God, look at that beautiful vintage bracelet. It's vintage styled. It is not vintage. It is by Chloe and Isabel. Um, some of you may buy that particular brand of jewelry. Um, it sells really well. Uh, this is beautiful. Uh, look at that. Look at those rhinestones. They are absolutely beautiful. Now the black in the center, I, I don't know. I don't know if the black center is stone. I don't know. But all the other ones I know are. Um, this is absolutely beautiful. And guess what? You get the earrings to match. This is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to start the pair out at $20. You get the earrings and the bracelet. Absolutely beautiful. It is by Chloe and Isabel. There is another earring. <laughs> I'm just like, it's in this little tray. Oh, gosh, I need to show you guys that. It's in this little tray over here. I promise it's over here. This is starting, the set is starting out at $20. It is by Chloe and Isabel. I get, oh, there. See, you get two earrings. You don't have to walk around with just one. These are starting out at $20. They are Mark C and I, which was Chloe and Isabel. No interest in the pretties? Okay. I forgot I had this, and I'm going to show it to you guys. Now, these are selling for $35. Look at it. It's a little perfume bottle. It is the teeny tiniest little perfume bottle. I think they're Austrian. Austria? So cute. I got to get the lid off for you. Here it is. Look at the little lid. Isn't that cute? And then it's got the little flower in the middle. It's kind of a cloth or a crossy stitch or whatever. And it's got all that gold embellishment around it. It is such a cute little bottle. This little bottle is starting out at $18. $18 for this teeny tiny little bottle. Isn't it cute? I just think it's adorable. 
I bought it at um, the first flea market I went to. Yeah, up in Versailles. That one was cool. I've never been to that particular flea market before, so it was really kind of cool. Teeny, teeny, tiny. I'm going to give you a measurement from the lid to the bottom of it. This thing, about one and three quarters inches. So super cute. So super cute. <clears throat> I'm telling you, I, I got so lucky. Like, I was just getting things, and I was so happy. Now, the first um, flea market we went to, I'm just going to take a picture of it. Uh, my boyfriend got nothing. Uh, here it is right here, just so you can see it. Well, that's the round. They have round ones and they have octagony ones or whatever. Here's this one. Uh, gosh, you can't see it. This one's on Etsy for 30. Yeah. You can see that Etsy. Yeah. Super cute. They have them round. Um, they have them all different weird shapes. Yeah, they're the cutest little things. I think I read in here somewhere where they were from, like, like Austria or something like that, I think. I've got Debs at 18. I'm going to get my stop put in. If you're interested in the little bottle, you need to get your bid in. Look how cute it is. It is so little. I'm going to write down little bottle, <laughs> little perfume bottle. And it will go to Debs. Super cute. Okay. What's next? How about another makeup bag? Look at this little bag. I think I had a bag like, like this last week. The same color and everything. Oh, and I, there's another bag we're going to do. Oh, we're going to do the coach bag. Forgot about that. We got our coach bag, y'all. Let's see. I know I bought a bunch of bags in here from out my garage. Yeah, here we got these two. Okay, we got a lot of bags left, really. Um, so... Here's the, this bag right here. We'll start out at $12. Here's your first 1980s necklace. These are not glass beads, but they are wonderful beads because they take me back to the 80s. And then look at this. Now, this is pretty. This alone is worth a $12. You're welcome, Miss Debs. Look at this cat. And look at the beautiful rhinestones in there. It is so pretty. So you're going to get the kitty cat. This bag starts out at $12. And then I think these are um, Western Germany. Yes, these are West Germany. So they are much older. And they, they are clip-ons. They are West Germany. And then here are a pair of gold. I wonder if these are Monet or anything. Let me take a look. Oh, my finger locked up again. But on the other hand. Oh, these are Anne Klein. These are actually Anne Klein. Anne Klein stuff does really well. These are Anne Klein. Um, these don't have a name on them, but... I don't think they do. Mm. No, but they're still really kind of cool. These are some pure, no, I mean, these are clip on earrings. That's in your bag. And we're going to put. Like 
these. Look at these earrings. These are old vintage clip earrings. They don't have a marking on the back. But, man, I think these are really cool. They're kind of, is that the word I want to use, concaved? Is that what I'm looking for? We're going to put that in there. But I want to put this with it. So we're going to throw this in that $12 bag, too. Um because I just like it. It's an older style uh, bead necklace. It's got the little tassel on the end. It's They're not a glass, but I think it goes good with these earrings. So let's make that part of this bag. Let's do it. So we've added a couple things to the bag at one. I mean, normally just one at a time, but I did it twice because I really like those earrings with that necklace. So this is your bag so far. You got the 80s beads. Got this cool cat. He's really kind of pretty. Cool. I, I, I like all of his rhinestones, and they all seem to be there, and he's really kind of pretty. And then the ancline earrings. These are the ancline earrings. And then we just added this. I added this necklace and the earrings at the same time because, well, I just kind of liked them together. So we added that. The earrings are West Germany, so they are older. And then I think I kind of like these. So I've got Debs at $13. If you want in, please get in. Okay, Margo says she is out. So this is going to Debs for $13. Thank you, Miss Debs. And thank you, Miss Margo, for bidding. We'll put that in a little bag down here. And then what do we have? Next bag right here. Oh, no. Let's do this one because I want to make sure we get to this one today. Now, this is a very nice bag. Um, it, it's This is Coach. This is Coach. Made for me by Coach. It is in super great condition. The only thing that I found, it has got a little teeny tiny, and it looks worse on the camera than it is. And I didn't try to clean it, but it's got like a little mark. I don't know if that's just in the material or um, it's just got this little tiny mark on it. Um you probably can clean it off. I'm not going, I'm not going to try. Um, other than that, this is a super, super nice uh, coach bag. So the price will be a little higher because it is coach. It's got his little coach tag um, and it's got some really nice jewelry in it. I made sure to put some super nice jewelry in it. Uh, this bag is going to start out at $20. You are getting a coach bag. Again, it does have that little spot. I I don't know what it is. Um, other than that, it's in really good shape. You can see the inside of it. Super, super clean. Um, your first thing that's in it are these earrings, and they are beautiful, and they are by Ann Taylor Loft. Ann Taylor Loft makes some beautiful jewelry, beautiful clothes. So everything that goes in this bag will be very, very nice. These are Ann Taylor Loft. This necklace right here, absolutely gorgeous, and I love it with the bag. This necklace is, um, it is a designer brand, I do believe. Where did I see it? Yes. Alfeni, A-L-F-A-N-I. I know that's a good brand. Like I said, the jewelry that I bought was like all designer in this one particular, um, place that I went and it was just all designer. Bought a whole bag of it, like a whole bag. Can you see the necklace? It is gorgeous. And look how pretty it is with the bag. Because the bag's got a lot of gold and stuff on it. So it's so pretty. Um, and these little coach bags, I'm sorry, but they sell for, I, I know because I used to buy coach. But now that I'm divorced, I don't. I'm a good girl, and I just I don't buy that kind of stuff anymore. But look how pretty that is. 
Super, super cute. And I think you could probably get something and just dab that little that little spot off of it. I guess it, it looks bigger on the camera than it, than it really is. And then um, here is a beautiful um, bracelet. Uh, this one doesn't open. You have to get your hand through it. And you're going to have to have a small wrist for this one. I don't, and I have really small wrists. I'm not a small girl, but for some reason my wrists are really small. But I don't, I don't even know if I, yeah, I could get it on if I really tried, but I don't want to try. So here is this bracelet. And if you don't like the gold tone one, then here is a silver tone bracelet with it. These are all really nice pieces for this bag. Uh, the Ancline is absolutely beautiful incline earrings not incline and taylor loft um i'll go ahead and throw something else in there for 20 you know i mean since we i usually don't throw anything else in you know unless we get another bid but we need to oh let's do these these are really pretty for this bag and that necklace look at these earrings and they are a gold tone Look how pretty they look with the necklace. Yay, somebody's going to look fabulous. And you're going to be carrying a nice bag. Super, super nice. Look how pretty these are. Yeah. I told you guys, I got some really nice jewelry this time. Ann Taylor. Right on the back. Which would be Ann Taylor Loft. So you got the Ann Taylor Loft um, earrings, Alfeni. I don't. I probably don't pronounce that right, but this is a gorgeous necklace. There's a silver tone and a gold tone of a uh, bracelet, and these cute little earrings. They're either silver tone or gold tone. It's really hard to tell in the light sometimes, but they're still sparkly and they'll still match the bag. I've got Debs in it twenty. This is coach, you guys. Some some people don't care. <laughs> I used to have so many coach bags, and then I went, oh, you know, I had so many. I was like, I don't need that many. I sold a lot of them in my shop, but I still have a few. I still like my coach, and I still like, um, what is it, Michael Kaur. I just don't buy them like I used to because I'm divorced. <laughs> I got to take care of myself now. I'm going to go ahead and put my stop in. If Deb's the only one in there, she gets this beautiful thing and all the jewelry for $20. It's Deb's. Coach plus jewelry. Good job, Miss Debs. You're really going to like it. It is such a cute bag. Made for me by Coach. And then, of course, you've got your little Coach logo right there, too. Don't worry about the little spot. You'll get it. It's still so cute. Thank you much. Thank you much. Thank you. Thank you much. Yeah, it was a good buy. It was a good buy. Here's another little bag. It's got jewelry in it. Oh, whoa. whoa. Earring went flying on the floor. This has got some cute stuff in it, too. We're going to start this bag out at $12. First thing we're going to look at is this. I put these two together because I thought they looked good. Um, sometimes I'm not the best uh, dresser, I guess, or putting things together. But I thought it looked good. So I have this gorgeous necklace. Uh, again, this was in some of my designer stuff. I don't have a name on this one, but it was in with all that designer bag stuff that I got. So here's the necklace super pretty and then i picked this bracelet to go with it my fingers are cramping up again look at this bracelet it's so pretty i think they go well together because they're the darker darker metals or whatever but super pretty so you're going to get these two things and then here is a silver tone necklace I didn't find a name on this one. It, it too was in that designer stuff that I got. Um, 
it's still really pretty. It, it's short, but I think you could you could add a extender onto it. Here are some earrings. These don't have any backs, so you'll have to find some backs. Super cute, though. Those are yours. And these are, I think these are West Germany, I think. Yep, they don't say West on, but they say Germany. So these are Germany. Nice vintage clip-ons. And these are Germany. They do say Germany on the back. This bag starts out at $12. There we go. And then we have these earrings here. They are pierced. Very slinky. A slinky, a slinky. So those are in your bag. I'm going to pick out one more thing to go in it, and then we're going to call that a bag. Mm. Let me look. Let me look, y'all. Y'all won't believe all the stuff I have over here. We could sit here till midnight selling jewelry. I'm not kidding you. I don't know why that did that. I'm supposed to be doing that. Here is a brooch. It looks like eyeglasses, but it's a brooch. Thank you. I keep losing. What? No, you won that one. I keep losing. I'm not sure what that is. Oh. Yeah, that's why I kind of wait a while, you know. I want to make sure everybody can, because I everybody lags at different times or whatever. So I try to, I try to hold off on doing the stop and the uh, whatever, you know, just so people don't, you know, don't, they have a chance to bid. I'm gonna get some of this. Okay, I got Margot in at twelve. So we had the Germany earrings. Very pretty. I, I stuck in this brooch. I think it's kind of cool. It looks like eyeglasses. I don't know what it is, but I think it's kind of cool. And these two I picked out together. I don't know. I thought they looked good together. You've got this really cool bracelet. And it is. It's a really nice bracelet. It's got your safety latch on the side, too. And then you've got this necklace. Don't they look? I think they look good together. Okay, my hands are really bothering me today. Um, and then these. And now this is uh, not very long, but I think you could put an extender on it and it would be fine. And then these. And... Since I am so nice, I'm going to put in some more jewelry. I like this. Have you guys ever worn one of these before? I like them, but I can't wear them. But I'm going to throw it in the bag. And it's really pretty. It's an ear wrap. You wrap it around your ear. I, I, I Again, I, I, I can't wear them. I don't even know how to wear them. I've tried to put one on before, and it just... Uh, I, I don't know how they do. You just wrap it around your ear and it just whoop, sticks out of your ear, I guess. So that little uh, will go in this bag. I've got Margo in at $12. I mean, I can keep making the bag more tempting and more tempting, um, which I will do because that's how nice I am. <laughs> Let's see. What have we got? What have we got? What is that? These are kind of big and bold. I don't know. I got some weird design on the inside of them. I don't know, but they're kind of big and bold. We're gonna put that in there so this is a good bag i'm hoping i can get it all back in here since i added so much to it so we have the big and bold earrings that i just put out we have the ear wrap really pretty butterflies with those little rhinestones in there 
And then these are going to need backs on them. They don't have any backs, but most people have backs. And then we have this silver toned necklace. It's really pretty. I just think it's kind of short. It may need, you know, an extender put on it. Some earrings. And then we had that um, necklace and the bracelet that I thought matched pretty good together. I've got Margot in at uh, $12. And here's your pretty little bag. That's a little Revlon bag. I'm going to put my stop in. If you want in, you need to get in. I'm just going to wait a second since um, Debs is having kind of a hard time um, with her internet connection. And we're going to go ahead and give this one to Margo. Oops. 12 macaronis, Margo. No problems. What's our next one? Oh, uh, is anybody interested in any ephemera? I showed some little kids um, coloring books and things like that from 1915. And then some of them are like from 1945, things like that. If anybody is interested in any of the ephemera, just tell me and I'll grab it. Um, but the other thing I wanted to show you guys, and they're beautiful. Uh, the lady did take them out of the bag and show them to me. I didn't see anything on them, but let's take a look just in case I didn't see. see you know what I mean? These are pillowcases, and they are all hand done. Absolutely gorgeous. Can you see them? Look at look at that work done on the edge of it. All that isn't that pretty. Gorgeous pillowcases, and these are nice big pillowcases too. And when you get them so small, you can't even get a pillow in them. This is these are beautiful. I didn't realize that they were this big. Wow. Okay, there's this one. It's in good shape. I say she took them out for me because I don't like buying them and then not being able to know if they're got stains or anything. Um, so this one has like. Let me show you this because I just saw it. It's not anything bad. You're going to wash them anyway. See that little mark right there? I think it's just dust. And you know how you go over your hand and then the dust smears? I think that's just what that is. I don't think it's any problem whatsoever. Yeah, it's on the back of it. And again, I think that's going to come out with the washing. I think it's just where they tried to brush some dust off or something. These are super nice. I'm going to start these out. I'm going to give you a good deal on these. The, I'm going to start them out at $12. You cannot get pillowcases at Walmart for $12. And these are hand done. Again, that has that little black swishy mark on the back. But again, I think they just had some dust on it and tried to just get it off of there. These are beautiful. I'm going to show you the little dust mark. I, and I think that's all it is. Right there. I can't look at you and look at the screen. You see the little marks? I think it's just dust marks. Something was on it and somebody sw tried to swish it off of there. Man, these are so super, super nice, you guys. Crisp. <laughs> and that pink around the edging. So pretty.
If no one is interested, we will throw them back in the bag. I know somebody that's going to email me and get these. I already know. I already I can. And if she does, I'll let you know. See if I predict it right. See if my prediction is right. Eh. That last week when we had that big bag of jewelry that didn't sell, I've got it sitting somewhere. And, uh, oh, it's right here. A lady called and wanted to know if, uh, she didn't call, she emailed me, wanted to know if I would take some of the jewelry uh, out of it and she could just buy it individually. And I said, sure. She bought that green um, abalone necklace that was dyed. She bought that from me and then she bought another necklace. Um, so things do sell after the sale. So that's always good. That's always good for me. Uh, let's see. What's next? Here is a black bag. Really nice. Feels good, too. It almost feels like it's leather. I can't guarantee you that, um, but it feels good. You see, it's got a tag in here somewhere. Let me see what it's made out of. Uh, I don't know. It just feels like leather, but I'm not saying it is. No, not, but it sure feels good. It sure feels good. Okay. Uh, there's some pretty nice stuff in this bag, too. Um, there's some really nice stuff in this bag. This first necklace is um, Premier Design. Gorgeous necklace. We're going to start this bag out at $14. This is by Premier Design. It does have its logo on the back. Look how pretty this is. I mean, look at the flickers in there. It is a silver tone. Nice, nice necklace. This bag is starting out at uh, $14. This is gorgeous, too. This is... Um, White House Black Market. This is Black House White um, White House Black Market is the logo on this. Nice jewelry. They it's nice designer clothing. Um, this is one of their necklaces. Absolutely beautiful. White House Black Market. And look at this. This is I do believe this is um, brass. I wish I knew what this was. Look at the, what do you guys think that is? Some, is it, is it some sort of a shell or is it? I do believe it's brass on the inside. So this is a little older bracelet right here. This is super, super nice bracelet. This is not a cheapy uh, bracelet by any means. Super nice. And then here are some really pretty dangles. I do like wearing me dangles. Super pretty. And let's see. We got a bid, so we're gonna we're gonna throw some jewelry in there. I'm gonna go to my box over here. Um, oh, that is so pretty. Oh my, oh my, oh my, it's all pretty. <laughs> I'm like, it's all pretty. It's all pretty. Um, I think this is, this is a really good bag of jewelry right here. I probably should just sell this bag by itself. It's a gorgeous bag of jewelry right there. Let's just sell that one by itself. We'll throw this in because it's really cool. This has kind of got that, um, I call it sugar, but it's not sugar, but I call it sugar. Uh, this is probably Japan. So this is probably 1950s, something like that. Um, look at these. You see how textured they are? They do say Japan on the hook. Really pretty necklace. I call them sugar beads, but they're not sugar beads. But they just look like they have little coats of sugar on them to me. So we'll put that in there. 
Margot bid. So we're going to add something else. We're going into the good box over here. This is a good box right here. Let's throw some more earrings in. I wonder who did these. They did a good job, whoever did it. These are so pretty, you guys. Very well done. And again, these are out of my uh, uh, designer. They don't have a name on them. I think it's kind of hard to put names on some of these earrings. Uh, Judy Bolin is in. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to find the good stuff. I mean, because if you're going to bid, I don't mind putting good stuff in at all. I, I prefer putting good stuff in. That way you feel like you got, you know, out of here getting, you know, getting a great deal on things. And that's what I want. Wow. What is that? And how does that undo? Oh, right there. I don't know who does this necklace. Again, it was out of my um, box of designer jewelry that I bought. Um, oh, my fingers will not do what I want them to do. Really making me upset. Look at this necklace. This is, I hope, I wish you can see this as well as I can see it. I mean, this is, this is so pretty. I don't know who does it. I have no clue. Sometimes if you can't, you can just like screenshot it and then put it on Google Lens and it'll tell you who does it. Um, man, it, and the, the silver tone on it is just really, really pretty. And it's, it's well done. It's really well done. We'll go ahead and throw that in. Super, super pretty. It's in. I don't know what's going on. This bag, it just feels so good. I've got Debs at 21. Now, y'all know when you do that, I got to throw more jewelry in. And I like to. It's a lot of fun. Ooh, these are cool. These look like they got like little moon glow and stones in them. Again, this was out of that, the designer jewelry that I bought. It doesn't have any name on it, but everything was supposed to be designer. Let me get them up here. How cute those are. Oh, they're just adorable. Got these like little fringy things hanging down. These look kind of moon glowy, don't they? Very cute. I'm going to put them in. I like putting in the jewelry. I'm trying to find a bracelet. I don't think sure that one has a bracelet in it or not. Oh, this is a pretty bracelet. This is a cool bracelet, actually. Um, it looks really vintage to me. It kind of looks like it was it, it was like Bakelite, but it's not Bakelite. But it is very cool. Uh, this is... What does that say? Savory bling, something like that. Again, out of that stuff that I that I bought. Super cool. It's in. This is a really good bag of jewelry. Um, so I'm trying to get my hands to working again. The the bracelet that I just put in. Carol says she, uh, the necklace, this is really a nice, well done necklace. Uh, it's in the little earrings that I just threw in again, they kind of look moon glowy, but I don't know what this is. I, it, I know that's brass under there. I think I really don't know. Um, I don't, I know, I don't think it's ivory, but I don't know really about any kind of ivory, anything. I'm not real good on that kind of stuff. So, 
um, earrings, vintage beads, really cute beads. I love these beads. Uh, this is Premier Design. This is a pretty, pretty necklace. You get 20 bucks out of this necklace. You should be able to. I mean, if you've got, I mean, if you, if you sell it singly online or if you have a, like Judy has a booth or something like that, you know, I sell mine by bulk uh, because I get a good deal on everything. So I don't mind not getting what I could get if I had a booth or if I stuck it on eBay or whatever. Uh, earrings. And then this is White House Black Market. Super pretty. Oh, I better put that other earring in there. Uh, Carol says she's out. Okay, I've got Judy in at 23. Uh, Debs, are you in or out? It's a great bag of jewelry. It's got a lot of nice stuff in it. We'll give Debs a few minutes just because she said she's having some issues with her internet. So let's just be kind and uh, give her a moment to... Okay, she says out. And so this is going to go to Judy. Thank you, Miss Judy, and thank all of you ladies for bidding. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and sell this bag. Um, it's not in a makeup bag. I remember I used to sell my jewelry just like this. I used to sell it just in baggies. And then I found a makeup bag one day, and I went, oh, it's fun selling it in a makeup bag. But sometimes you just can't find enough. So, but this bag is uh, really cool. Um, this is a really neat bag of jewelry. Uh, I'm going to start this bag out at, again, $14. Um, it, you'll love this bag. I love this necklace. Um, this is, is this the one that's Germany? This one's Hong Kong. So uh, probably, mm, what, 70s maybe? Let me get it all fixed. I, um... Get a lot of beaded necklaces like this, um, but I don't get it in this color or these types of beads. That's why I'm so excited about this one. When I saw it, I was like, man, I really love it. It's kind of a cranberry kind of thing going on. And this is the, the tassels at the, each end. It's really a pretty, pretty necklace. Uh, you'll want to straighten it out. I mean, Jesus, from just it being in the bags and stuff, it gets, but it's so pretty. So that's going to be your first piece in your bag. And then look at this little dude. I'm, I got to make sure all of his stones are in. Yeah. I do not see a name on the back. It is a little bee. It is a cute little bee. <laughs> Margo, ring, ring, it's for you, Judy. Margo wants you to take a phone call. Um, and then these are really cute right here. Um, these are marked. Um, these are marked listeners. So these are a really good vintage named uh, earring. They are listener. They are pink. I don't know. They're showing up kind of red on here, but they are pink. Um, now the gold, the silver tone on the back, uh, you know, you can tell it's older, clean them up. They should be fine, but they are listener. They are marked listener. Really cute. Really. Um, and then look at this brooch. This is a honker of a brooch. Uh, and it is Sarah Coventry. There's some really good, uh, stuff in this bag. I really like this bag. Uh, look how big this brooch is. It is Sarah Coventry, and the gold tone on it is really nice. And it is marked Sarah Coventry on the back. Super, super nice gold tone brooch. Um, 
I like these and I wasn't going to put them in a bag. If they are real cameos, please send them back. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, I don't know how to tell. I know you guys have told me before. I, I think I'm going to leave these out, actually. I better leave them out. I, yeah, because I, I don't know. I have to have somebody tell me. I don't know. But I'll, I'll put these in instead. These are gorgeous. These is gorgeous. Uh, 14. 14, Miss Margo. These are beautiful rhinestone clip-on earrings right there. This right here is, I think this is Sarah Coventry too. Um, and we left the cameos out because, oh, nope, can't do that one because the stone came out of it. Uh, we left the cameos out because I'm going to have to do some research on those. I never find orange beads. I found orange beads and I have more orange beads that I found. This is West Germany. West Germany. Um, and then this is a really cool older brooch. And that pearl inside of there is actually prong set all the way around it. Isn't that weird? But these little black things kind of move around. So you can just kind of, they sort of kind of move around. It's just weird. This is a really weird old brooch. And it's actually very, very cool. That's going to be in your bag. And let's see. What else can we throw in there for some fun? Here are some pierced earrings. Ooh. Party night. It's Friday. Uh, let's see. What are these? Oh, these are pretty. More earrings. More earrings. They're in your bag. This is a groovy bag, you guys. Get in there while you can. Carol's going to steal it away from you. And then we'll put one more piece in for the teen. And if we don't get any more bids, we'll have to leave it uh, where it's at. Oh. Somebody's mowing the yard. Wow, that's kind of pretty. Huh, I'll throw it in. Look at that. This is a bracelet. And it's like... Yeah, these are all glass. They're like different colored leaves or something. I don't know what it is, but it, it, it they look like leaves. Super, super cute. Um... And then that's the hang down for the where it clasps. This is super cute. All glass. Yep. All glass. Super adorable. Okay, Margo's in, so we'll throw something else in. What will it be? What will it be? How about some dangly doos? And these do say something on the back, but I can't read it. I tried to look at it earlier, and I just could not read it. Wow. Whoa. They do need backs. They don't have any backs. I don't know why I get all these earrings that have no backs. I have no clue. Oh, we'll throw these in. This is, this is really pretty. Where'd it go? Here it is. Now, these don't have a name on them, but wow, the stones are just really cool. They're like a ruby, uh, ruby red stones. And they're clip on, but they don't, they don't have a name on them. But man, the, this, that big stone, super nice. It's got to be a really big bag right here. I might have to get a bigger bag. I've got Carol at 16. Uh, what else? Like I said, I don't mind throwing it in. If you bid, I'll throw it in. Oh, this is really cool. 
Uh, this is one of those necklaces that you can adjust. So it has this and you can move it up and down so you can wear this necklace any way you want to. It is a silver tone. It's really pretty. Yeah, you just work the um, end of it. Yeah, here it goes. And you can just pull it and just put it anywhere you want to wear it. Very super nice. And you can just wiggle it down and make it longer if you want. I like that one. That one's in. It's in. Let's go over your bag really quick while Margo's thinking. We have the adjustable. Super cool. Um, we have the orange. Love it. Love it. You don't find orange beads a lot. At least I don't. Um, here is vintage Sarah Coventry. That is a honker. And the gold tone on it is really good. Uh, this is vintage. Now that the pearl thing that's in there. I don't think I've prong set around there. That's funny. I love it. Um, and then these are listener. Uh, the now the silver tone on the back, not that great, but they are vintage, so and nobody can see that anyway. Um, super nice pair of old earrings. Um, these earrings are like a purple kind of color, they are glass, they don't have any markings on the back. And then these ones that I threw in there, I think these are super cool. Yeah, this one had a little more in it than I thought. Uh, these have some markings on the back. I, I don't know what they say, but they are marked. They have initials or something on there. Uh, and this little bracelet right here, all glass. Super cute, all glass. I love that thing. Huh. And then we have some danglies. And then we got a B. And then we had this necklace right here. That's so cool. It's kind of a cranberry kind of color. And I do believe it's the one that says Hong Kong on it. Again, it will all be in this little bag here. I will separate the smaller necklaces and everything out so it's not all tangly. I've got Margo in at $17. I'm going to get my stop put in. So if you want in, you need to get in. Carol, if you want to change your mind, you better do it before I put the stop in. Because after the stop, boom, no more. I think we'll do it like that because it's just fair for everybody. Okay, and this bag is going to Margo. I know on a lot of channels, people are like, oh, well, you know, you have the prerogative to change your mind. And you do. And you do. Um, but we'll try to do it to where you have to change your mind before the stop goes in. Because if you do it after the stop, it's kind of not fair to that person. That's a good bag of jewelry. They're actually all really good bags of jewelry. So, um, I don't remember what was in this bag last week, but I took a bracelet out and, oh, I took a bracelet out and I took, um, um, a necklace. So we'll add something else to it. Um, I need it. That's my bag. I throw all my jewelry in. I left a net, um, an earring out. I'm going to do that. So we had this bag on last week, if you remember the bag itself. It's a cool little bag. Um, but I took a necklace and a bracelet out. Yeah. We'll add some stuff to it. I think I had this bag started at $18. Um, we'll start this bag at $14. Um, and we'll add some stuff to it. So instead of 18, we'll just start it at 14 since I took some stuff out of it. Uh, this, it did have this really, really cool belt. I don't know if you guys remember the belt, but it's really neat. I think it'd be cute around a dress or a pair of jeans or whatever, but it is a really nice uh, belt. That's going in. And then we have the seed bead necklace. Super nice seed bead necklace. It's really sparkly. That's in. Now, these are not old, but they're pretty. 
And I mean, if you have a wedding or something to go to, um, you know, they'd be pretty just like going to a wedding or whatever. They're blue sparklies. Again, they are not old whatsoever. Um, just, I don't even call them costume jewelry. They're just, uh, just pretty earrings. Um, and then here are a pair of dangleys. These earrings are tweaking like my fingers are tweaking today. Sideways. Earrings. And then this cute little bracelet. Um, it's very dainty. It's like it's a really light pink color. And they're all these little things on here. They remind me of opal essence. And they're glass. And then this right here. I think this is the coolest necklace. It's gaudy. Isn't that cool? Like gaudy. And then supposedly I had another earring somewhere. Let me get this back out. See if I can find that earring. Oh, yeah. And then I matched up these earrings with it. Do you guys remember that? So I had 18 on this. And then I took out a couple of um, things. So we marked it down to 14 with all of this stuff in it. Oh, and then here is a bracelet. Again, these these earrings, not not old, but they're really pretty. If you had a wedding or something to go to, I mean, it'd be pretty for that. I'm going to go ahead and throw this brooch in. These stones are not glass. This is probably from the 80s or 90s. I'd say maybe 90s. There's the back of it. There's the front of it. We'll go ahead and throw that in. Uh, again, this bag is starting out at uh, $14. Uh, let's see. What else can we throw in? Oh, these are pretty. These are, oh, let me read that real quick. What does it say? This has got a patent date on it. So these are older. They do have a patent on them. Really pretty, um, clip-ons. It's in. Oh, hi, Linda Near. How are you? You missed out on so many bags of jewelry. <laughs> so many bags of jewelry. Um, but welcome, young lady. Miss Linda Near is my neighbor. She just lives down the road here, and she comes in, and sometimes I get to cook her and her husband breakfast. They are very nice people. Well, they're always nice to me. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to find something just so wonderful, you guys. are just going to buy this bag of jewelry. Oh, and then I found these, and I thought they were so cool. Look at these older beads with the orange and the black speckles. And aren't those weird? Like, I, I have a hard time finding orange beads anyway. And then I find them with black speckles. I went, hmm, that's weird. But we're going to go ahead and throw that in this bag. Oh, thank you, Miss Linda. So you're going to get these beads, which are super weird. Never seen these before. And I've seen a lot of jewelry. Um, and I have another earring. It's just in the bottom. These are just fun earrings. They are not old by any means. Um, a silver tone bracelet. This uh, brooch, the stones are not glass. Uh, we have the seed bead necklace. Seed bead necklace. Um, we had the gold tone earrings. They've got a patent date on them. Um, we have these danglies. And we have this necklace. And then we have the gold belt. I wanted to come to your sale the other day, Linda, but we went to Rutledge. We left here at, well, what time did we leave? 5.30 or something like that. And then we have these. 
Now this bag starts at $14. It is a big, big bag of jewelry. Again, some of it is, you know, I mean, like these are not, they're not old. But they sparkly and your grandkids would love to play with them. Oh, and then we had the little pink glass bracelet in there. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we left at five, like five thirty, quarter to six in the morning, because he always has to be the first one there. Yeah, he always waiting to be the first one there. Better get there while you can get the deal. Somebody else is gonna get what you want. So I'm like, okay, try to crawl out of bed. This this bag starts at fourteen dollars. If anybody's interested, just let me know. We'll go back to it. If not, we will move on. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Did anybody want to see any of the ephemera? Let me know. Um, and if anybody is interested in the Nippon, um, 35, I won't go any lower than 35 on the Nippon. I'm very sorry. Um, they're like anywhere from 65 to $200. I know that's quite a price range, um, but just depending on the base or, you know, whatever, I got a good deal on this one, so I'm offering it for $35. It is Nippon. It is Royal Kinran Nippon. Uh, and you can see some of the little gold around the edges have faded or whatever. But you know what? Given its age, we're lucky any of it's still there. Uh, little gold uh, fading a little, but again, all hand done, all hand painted super pretty uh let's see what else do we have today um like i said if you want to see the um ephemera just let me know if not we'll just keep doing the jewelry oh and then we had this little set here um it is um eight pieces it is the vanity set it has the hat pin it has the hair receiver, two trinket boxes. Um, it has the ring holder. And it also, it is a it is a complete set. It also has the um, candlestick holders. And they do have some wax in the bottom. They have green leaves and pink flowers. Super, super pretty. Very, uh, the flowers are really cute. Um, they're kind of dainty. I mean, it's more of a dainty kind of. They're not the big, bold, loud flowers. This is more of a little dainty kind of. There's one of the little boxes. But the whole set, um, and it is uh, Delphi, Del, Delphine, Delphine, Crown China, England. If anybody is interested in that, yeah, it is really pretty. And um, Carol, I offered it for uh, sixty-five dollars for the whole set. Um, if anybody's interested in it, it's got the tray. It's got everything. It's got everything. No chips or cracks on it. Starts out at sixty-five. If anybody's interested, I've got Carol in at sixty-five. If we don't get anybody else in on it, we're just going to we're going to sell it to Carol. It's beautiful, Carol. Uh, like I said, no chips, no no cracks or anything in it. Not that I have found. Um, here is. Hopefully, you can see the color. I know some people's computers that color shows up different. On um, I'm trying to look at my phone. Yeah, let me see if I turn it up. Let's see what we can do. So there we go. There we go. I think that makes it a little bit more pink. There's like pink and like little green uh, leaves. Super, super pretty. And there's eight pieces. I said the candlesticks do have some wax down in them. I'm probably not going to clean that out because I don't want to break it. It's not going to hurt it. Um, but this is a complete set. It is really pretty. 
I, I don't know the age of it. Um, I'm going to guess probably 50s, maybe 40s, maybe 40s, um, somewhere in there. It is gorgeous. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I just, I'm afraid to. Oh, here, look. I think I just got the wax piece out. Look, Carol, I just got the wax piece out. <laughs> yeah, it just pulls right out of there. Oh, yeah, it, it'll clean right out. It's no big deal. No big deal. Look, there's the little wax piece that came out of it. <laughs> so then it just needs to be wiped up a bit. Yeah, yeah, you're not going to have any problem getting that wax out of there. Not a problem at all. I thought maybe I'd just have to dig, and I didn't want to dig because I didn't want to break it, you know. But, no, it's just coming right out of there. So, you're good, Carol. Uh, let's see. We're going to give that to Carol. Okay. <laughs> just came right out of there. And then uh, I'm just kind of going back over things, but we still have some more bags of jewelry to sell. Um, this was the um, Shavosky crystal necklace. Um, this is online for $125. This is Shavosky crystal. Um, very nice stuff. Uh, you won't buy that kind of stuff cheap anywhere. Um, I'm asking $65 for this one. You're welcome, Miss Carol. I know. Yeah, there, I didn't find any. The little man that sold it to me, God, he was so cute. I just want to eat him up. Um, he, was, he was cute as a bug's ear. He's like, now I got the whole thing. It's, it's all of it. And I said, yeah, I can see that. Well, you'll never find a better. And he was just going on. He was just so cute. Anyway, we diggered for a while, and and uh, I ended up walking away with it. So I was happy for that. <laughs> um, this is, I can never say it, Shavosky, whatever. Y'all know what I'm talking about, right? It does have the Shavosky uh, logo on the back. You can see the swan right there. This is online for $125. I'm asking $65, uh, starting it at $65 does have two little blue stones on each side and that big crystal in the middle. Beautiful. Shavosky, they're crystals. I don't think they're glass. There must be a difference. So this is available if anybody's interested in this. Like I said, sometimes you just want time to think about it. You can always email me or look it up and see if it's a good deal for you or whatever. I'm I'm good with that. You know, I want you to get what you want. I don't want you to, you know, they want that measuring tape thing again. I hate measuring tapes. I can't even work one anyway. <laughs> I can't work a measuring tape. Let's see. Let me see what I got left in here. I got so much left in here. It's like, mm. All right, here's a bag of jewelry. This is, a, again, a plastic bag. I ran out of makeup bags. So sometimes I don't find makeup bags. So we'll just do it like we did back in the old days when I started. You know? Baggies. All right, so this bag right here is going to start out at eight dollars. Eight dollars. Hey, now careful. That's Debs. So the first thing you're going to get is this little blue bead necklace. Again, this is probably seventies or eighties. Who doesn't want to relive the eighties? I do. Here is um, a necklace, a little pearl looking seed. I don't think these are seed beads, though. They're just like little pearls or whatever. So that's in there. This is one of those, I think they're called lariats. Krista tells me every single time, and then I just don't remember. Um, you can wrap, do whatever you want with it. It's got the little thingies on the end. It's super cute. And then here are some clip on earrings. I think these are cute. They're very weird, but they're very cute. And then these are uh, clip-ons, and they're like little dainty flowers. Little flowers. Those are yours. And then here are some 
silver tone earrings. Those are in this $8 bag. And then here is a brooch. It is in your $8 bag. And what else do we have? Oh, here's some polka dotted earrings. They are in your $8 bag. Now, come on, you guys. $8? Can't give this stuff away. <laughs> Let's see, what else do I, oh, there's so many cool things laying here. Where'd they get all this cool stuff? Um, let's see, I'm going to put something fancy in here. Maybe y'all get a biter. How about these? They got some rhinestones and some big old pearl things on the end. Very fancy. Very fancy. Again, still eight dollars. Got Margo. Hooked you, Margo. Hooked you, Margo. Wow. Whoa. What are these? I don't know what these earrings are, who makes them, but when they made them, they got, must have got tired because, is that the same earring as that earring? It's not the same earring as that earring. You can't sell earrings like that to us. You got another pair. These are cute though. Cuties. Those are actually very pretty. Okay, I got Margo hook, line, sinker, y'all. But actually, it ended up being a cute bag. Marriott. That's what I call it. And then these are just like little pearls wrapped around like, there's like three, four strands of black and white pearls. I'd say this little necklace is definitely probably from the 70s or 80s. And then you've got this little brooch on this very expensive card. I'm just kidding. It's not an expensive card. Um, and then here's some little flowery earrings. Here's your long dangly earrings. Um, here are your fancy pants earrings. Here's your polka dot earrings. And then these are trippy. I just kind of like them. So you get all this stuff, Margo, and anybody else that wants in, because I'm going to put my stop in. You have to be above the stop to bid. So if you want in, please get in. Margo, eight dollars. Yay, Margo. Let me grab some more little tags. Please don't drop anything to her. Be nice. Okay. If you would just see all the junk that's over here. Margo eight. She's good to go. And then don't forget we have the pillowcases, the vintage hand stitched pillowcases. Um, we can wait and show the ephemera next time. It's fine. Um, we're just going to keep doing some jewelry. I'm going to show you guys these. Now, remember I told you I have a hard time finding orange uh, beads. I got so lucky this time. I found like three sets of orange beads and I was like, you're very welcome. I was so excited about, it. and I know that's weird. Finding orange beads excites me, but you don't find orange beads a lot. These are Germany. Look. They're faceted. They're gorgeous. And they are a bright orange. They are pumpkin orange. They are amazing. We're going to put a bag together. So there's the first thing in the bag. Okay. Ooh, what is that? I don't know. But I better wait. 
Look at that. Yet. Oh, this is a cute bracelet. Um, this bracelet is adorable. Look at this bracelet. It looks like it has lace around it, but it's not. Is it cloth? No. It looks like it might be brass on the inside. It does have a little patina on the inside, but yeah, that's to be expected on brass. Uh, so that is, um, we're going to start this uh, bag out at um, $14. Um, and then this is a stretchy bracelet, but man, does it sparkle. Remember, stretchy bracelets. Put them on your hand like this. Pull down. Don't stretch them out before you put them on. Oh, my hand locked up again. Oh, what's wrong with me today? Look how pretty that is. This bag starting out at $14. Uh, I, it's going to be in a baggie because I do not have any more makeup bags. These are glass. Yep, these are glass. Again, just put it down over your hand and don't just take your stretchies and go. <laughs> so pretty. This bag starting out at $14. Here are some colored beads. And they have a really kind of cool hook on them. They just hook very weirdly, but very coolly. I like these colored beads. Very pretty. Those are going to go in the bag. And let's see what else I have. The bag starts out at 14 macaronis. I don't know if any of you, do any of you wear like watches? I don't know, but I'm, I'll tell you what, if you do and you need a new watch band, this thing is so pretty. It's kind of like a, it's kind of like a rose gold and look at all the rhinestones on it. So you just put your watch face right here and then just put the pins in. And it's really a pretty watch band. So this is just the watch band. You would have to put the watch in it. This bag is starting out at $14. It's already an amazing bag. Here are some earrings. Let me put these earrings in. They're pretty. Pretty, pretty earrings. And we're not going to get too much more if we don't have any bitters at the 14 because there's some nice stuff in here. $14. I'm going to throw in one more piece and we're going to call it good on that bag. I'm looking, I'm looking. Okay, Miss Debs. Thank you so, so much. I should have your invoice to you by Friday. Um, not Friday evening. Uh, Sunday evening, like I normally do. So I try to get them out earlier if I can. If not, you will definitely have it by Sunday evening. If I have time to work on them tonight, I can work on them tonight. Uh, just depends. I got to go to nursing home tomorrow and visit my boyfriend's mom. So, um, yeah, I'll probably get everybody done on um, Sunday evening. Thank you for coming. I appreciate you so much. I appreciate all of you so much. I think I have the best bunch of people ever. Like ever. And then we'll go ahead and throw these earrings in. They need backs. I, whew, Rock just hit the window. He's mowing out there. Uh, I'm going to throw these earrings in. So this will be the last thing that I throw in for the $14. Uh, dollars. Um, so let's show you what's in the bag. Okay, we'll show you what's in the bag. 
So we have the colored beads, very pretty. Uh, I love the shapes of them. We had the very pretty bracelet. And those are glass stones in there. We had the bracelet that kind of looks like lace. I, I think this might be brass in there. I don't know for sure, for sure. It's not real heavy or anything, but it still is nice. And then we have, whoop. We have the earrings. Uh, we have these earrings. They do need some backs on them, but they don't have any backs. Um, we had the watch band, which is a beautiful watch band. If you wear a watch, this is gorgeous. It's kind of a rose gold. And then we have these orange beads. All of this starting at $14. If it's a no-sale, we'll write a no-sale on the bag. Oh, Margo said I'll take it. You got it. It's a good bag, Margo. I mean, how often do you see me have orange beads? Not hardly ever. I just don't think that they made them that much back then, you know? I just, I don't, I don't think they did. So we sold all our cupies today, which was awesome. Um, we'll do another bag really quick. Let me just gather up some stuff and we'll put it together. I think we sold a lot of the vintage stuff or put it in the bags already, so I don't have a lot of vintagey stuff left, but a few pieces. Okay, this bag is going to start out at eight dollars because you're going to get this gorgeous necklace that you're going to go to the disco. We're all going to go to the disco. Whoever, get, whoever gets this, we're all going disco with you. Well, look at the pretty rhinestones all the way around it. Hello. And then all this hanging down when you're dancing. Woo! You know, you're doing the thing. You're going for it is what you're doing. Uh, this is by Premier Design. Premier Design does this necklace. The bag starts out at $8. This is a honking, honking necklace. And then you're going to get some earrings. Now, these earrings are not, um, what does it say? Um. Here is a pair of earrings, not vintage. These are newer earrings. They are purest earrings. Um, these are weird and fantastic at the same time. Look at these earrings. What? 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 Look at the shape. What? Those are in there. We're not messing around now. We're going for it. A lot of these earrings that you get will not have backs. <laughs> You'll have to find your backs. And these are really pretty. These are kind of like a love knot kind of earring. Um, these are some more earrings. Uh, let's see. What else do we want to throw in there? I thought I had some bracelets somewhere. I can't find anything. I still jump up here. Oh, here it is. Uh, what's this? What? Yeah, I, I got her down for that. Yeah, I got her down. Thank you, Carol. 
I thank you because sometimes I do miss stuff, so I do appreciate it. This is pretty. We're going to put this heart necklace in there. That's actually a really pretty heart. Look at all the intricate kind of work in there. Look at that, kind of pretty. Yeah, I wrote no sale, and then I looked over, and Margo had snuck in on me. It's okay. I like you being sneaky. It's fine. Here's a really pretty heart necklace. Now, remember, this bag is only at $8. So we're not going to put much more in it at that. So, um, if you want her for eight, grab it while you can. So we had the Premier Design Necklace. Uh, you could also use it for if you're getting married and it's your veil. You could do that. Especially if you're not good looking, you won't put that on. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. And then here is the heart necklace. This is actually a really pretty, pretty, pretty necklace on this one. Um, again, all of this starts out at $8. Here are the, some of the earrings that are in there. These are not old by any means, but they are really pretty. And then here is a pair of gold knotted earrings. And then here are these. And then here are these weird ones. And all of this starts out at only $8. Who's the taker? Who's the taker? Oh, my. And I'm going to throw these in because of my heart is kind. That I've got a kind heart. Look at here. Money. Money. Bling, bling. Money. Judy Bowen is daring it. She is. She's like, I'm going to get that. Well, it's Premier Design. That's probably why she's bidding on it for the Premier Design necklace. And I understand that. They have some really good stuff. And th that necklace is very well made, you guys. Super duper good made. I'm going to go ahead and put my stop in. Judy, you're going to get it for $8. We'll probably make up another bag and we'll call it a day. Uh, so if you want in, get in. This is, might be the last bag. Might be. Might not be. I don't know. I could make at least 40 more bags over here if I need to. That's sad. This has got some, um, you're welcome, Judy. This has um, got some um, more uh, vintage-y kind of uh, jewelry in it. I think I needed to wipe this up. Yeah, let's just throw this to the side for now. Um, but it is an older one just because of the way the back is on it. But we're just going to make this bag up as we go. Uh, I think this is uh, Japan or Hong Kong. I do not know. A Japan. This is a Japan beaded necklace. Super pretty. It's in. Uh, this is a this is a, a scarf clip. It's in. This bag is starting out at ten dollars. Ten dollars. And then here are some very weird looking earrings. I don't think I like them. Never mind. I don't, I don't like them. And if I don't like them, y'all know they ain't going in there. Well, let's see. Hmm. Hey, I'm on the I'm on the thingy. He just said a bad word. Um, this is not old, but it is very cute. Um, I'm not sure if it's... I think it's glass. Cute little bracelet. Now, those stones aren't prong set or anything. They're just glued in, but there's, it's still really pretty.
Um, let's see. Mm -hmm. Oh, you better watch out. Your dad, he gonna get you, boy. What's this? Sometimes the simplest little necklaces can be... Well, this is out of that designer bag of stuff. I wonder who did this. It's, I mean, it's dainty. It's cute. Um, I do not see a name on it, but it's really pretty. I like the chain on it. We'll put that in there. I don't see a name on this either. He ain't going to listen. Because he don't listen. I, I can't get that one to work right. Oh, here's a cute one, though. Here is one with butterflies. I'm getting all of this out of that box of or bag of stuff that I... It was all designer stuff. Um, I don't know who does this or did it or whatever. I don't even know how to undo it. If you have to put your hand through that. Oh, here it is. There's the hook. It's, 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 yeah. So it's really cute though. It's got all these little butterflies and these little, those are little glass uh, beads that are on that. That's going in. This is probably the last bag of the day, guys. Boyfriend's home and he's probably hungry and cranky because <laughs> he had to mow the yard. <laughs> but he always does a good job on it. Oh, how pretty is that? Do I have two of those? I have two of those. I'll put it in the bag. Where is it? I do. I don't think they're glass, though, but I don't care. They are really cute because I love purple. And these earrings will go in the bag. I'm not seeing any bids, so if we don't get any, any we'll just call it a day. Uh, where is the other one to this? There's just this is just a whole big bag of earrings, and I just kind of dumped them out. Um, here it is, and here is this one super cute earrings. All right, let's put these back in the bag so we don't lose them. And I haven't decided whether I'm going to come back on tonight and do a little more jewelry, uh, I'm not really sure. Um, it just depends on how late I dinner is and all that good stuff, you know. I've got Carol in. Thank you, Miss Carol. I'll throw these little earrings in too. I mean, there's a lot of stuff in this bag. Okay, Miss Angie, please do so. I'll check it. What? Okay, Miss Cindy. But you can go ahead and send your information. Um, so I have it. And then next time you come on, all you have to do is just, you know, start bidding. If I already have your information, you're good to go. You're good to go. Um, this is a bid. So it's $14. You are allowed to bid $15. Um, so these are all open for everyone um, until I put in stop. If I put in stop, and you're not above the stop, then you can no longer bid. Um, so it is still open to bid. You would just have to be at $15. 
Okay, here's our bag so far. We had the bracelet. Again, those uh, stones are not prong set, but still a really cute bracelet. It's not old by any means, but it's really pretty. Uh, the necklace is older. Um, it's probably 1950s, so I'd say 60s, um, and it is marked Japan. Uh, this is a little butterfly bracelet. Really cute, actually. The butterflies have little uh, stones in them. Super, super cute. And then this is a, a vintage uh, scarf clip. And then we have the little necklace here. Like I said, I don't know who did this necklace. There's no name on it. It's pretty dainty. I just like the chain on it, too. Not old by any means. Uh, and then here. Okay, sure. No problem. Thank you so much for coming. Um, and then here are some other earrings that are going in this bag. And then these don't have any backs to them. You'll have to find some backs to them. And those stones aren't glass. They don't feel glass. But they're such pretty earrings. And everybody knows purple is my favorite color. And then here are some other little earrings. Get out. Go. Come on. Thank you. You're a good boy. So I've got Carol at 14. I'm going to put in my stop. And Miss Carol will get this one at $14. So we'll probably call it a night. Um, seems like we're slowing down a bit. And people are probably, oh, you're welcome. People are probably wanting to go and get their dinner ready and, you know, things like that. Um, if I come back on tonight, which, again, I don't know if I will, um, I'll give you at least about an hour notice or half an hour notice or something like that. So you'll know. Um, I do have to get up in the morning and go to the nurse home and see Darren's mom. Um, which is about a two hour drive. I have an hour and 45 minutes, something like that. Seems like forever. But she doesn't get a whole lot of company. So um, we try to go every other week. And then his sister lives right there in town. And she sees her quite a bit. And then there's the other sister that um, I don't know how many times she goes up. And then, but we try to go over there, you know, definitely every other week to make sure she's okay and all that good stuff. And I got to see my mama too this on Wednesday. So that was fun. And Carol, that goes down there. Um, so if you guys are, are tired and done, then we can definitely be done. Um, I've got a lot more jewelry. Um, and I'll, I'll tell you, some of the stuff that I that I got, uh, I'm, I'm going to be selling it uh, one piece at a time instead of just in the bags. I know you guys love the jewelry in the bags, and I do too. But some of it, I just can't put it in the bags. Um, like this right here, I was going to offer this, but I don't, I mean, I just can't put it in a bag. I mean, if you're interested in this, this is definitely 1980s. Um, this is a prime piece of 1980s, uh, jewelry. It's gorgeous. I absolutely love it. And if you want, I mean, I'll start it at $20, but I cannot go down any further on it. Started at $20. It's gorgeous. It's really cool. It's not glass. I don't. I don't know. It's some sort of weird, heavy. Um, it's not cheapy plastic, but it's not not plastic. It's. Um, I, I don't even know how what to what to say about it, but it's just cool. No interest. No problem. We are going to say goodbye. And I will have everybody's uh, invoices to them by Sunday evening. Uh, if I have a chance tonight and I don't go back online, 
Um, I will, um, may, I might be able to get a chance to start them tonight. I don't know. I don't want to promise anything, you know, because if I, if I did them tonight and you paid tonight or early, early in the morning, I can get them in the post office by tomorrow. But, um, again, I just don't even know if I'm going to have a chance to do it, but thank all of you guys for being here. I appreciate it. I have, I always have so much fun. And there, there is only nine people here, but I guess you should have stuck around if you wanted to get some money off on your order. Yes, Angie. Uh, thank you. I appreciate it. Yes, definitely. Just um, it, My email is right there. Just get it sent. And when you come back, just say, hey, I sent that to you. I'll look it up, and then you're free to bid. Now, all of my auctions are usually bidding and not just buy it nows. I, I have done that, um, but normally it's just bidding. And uh, we always, um, let's take a look. I'll look. I can actually multitask sometimes. No. Nope, not here, young lighty. It's Teresa Living Good 1965 at gmail.com. And I'll check my spam too. Because, you know, you could have gone in the spam. No, but Joe's Crab Shack's in there. <laughs> oh, wait, who's this? Oh, it just said you, that you. Subscribe to me, but it doesn't show the, yeah. Just keep trying to send it, my friend. It'll go through. Uh, and then next time we can look for it. If it doesn't, just send it again. I'm, we are so easy around here. Um, so what we're going to do is um, everybody refresh your machines. And we're going to play for $5 off of our order, which always helps on shipping. I don't care. People, oh, $5 is not very much. You know what? When it comes to shipping, $5 is a lot of money. Um, so it just comes totally off your order. Um, it helps with everything. Um, so. I don't know why I keep writing that, but okay. Um, so. Whoever puts this number in first, it's between 1 and 25. Whoever puts the number in first gets $5 off their order. Yeah, I still don't have it, Miss Angie. But like I said, keep trying to get it to go through. And if it doesn't, we'll get it next time. We're, 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 I'm easy. It's between 1 and 25. Margo said 125. Come on, y'all. All right. Stop. We got a winner. We got a winner. It is the number 10. And I think it belongs to Miss Margo. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. I'm going to go back up and go back up. The numbers were coming in, and then when Margo printed 125, it really threw me off. <laughs> yep, it's going to Margo. Thank you, guys. Margo, $5 off. I wanted to have a bag of jewelry as a gift tonight, but I didn't get one together. So I'm like, mm. Yeah, next time we'll do a bag of jewelry. We'll do like a like a nice little bag of jewelry giveaway. I just didn't I had to work this morning and then um, you know, help my friend over at the cafe. And I told us, I got to get out of here. I'm leaving. So I hurried and went to my little place to get 
makeup bags to see if they had any, you know, bake makeup bags. And they did. And I was so happy for that. And then I got home and started working on this. So this is all I've done all day. <laughs> it's my life. Um, so, um, again, I'll have everybody done by Sunday evening. And uh, if I come on tonight, it's just going to be jewelry. It won't be anything else but jewelry. So it's if I even get a chance to do it. So um, if not, I'll see you next week. Thank you guys so much. Um, I'm pretty sure I'll be here next week. Um, if not, if you don't see a video from me by Thursday of a preview, then you know I'm probably not going to be here. Um, but most likely I will be here because I've got so much jewelry. Uh, thank you guys. And I will maybe see you later. Don't know. Can't promise anything. But thank all of you so very, very much. Um, bye, Linda. Um, we will talk to all of you guys soon. Have a good weekend and be safe. Be very, very safe in this thing. <laughs> Bye, guys.